drives a great big Scooter Brown. He's known throughout the town. Scooter Brown, he'll turn that frown upside down. Oh, Scooter Brown, he's a local celebrity. Oh, Scooter Brown, everybody say, hooray! Let me tell you about this man that folks find quite perplexing. Some people cannot stand and find him rather vexing. A kooky sort of fellow. Well now, hello everybody, it's me, <clears throat> Scooter Brown, ready to go, uh, to smelt stuff. How'd they? <laughs> oh, looks, I got my shots gun on my back. Oh, well, look who he is, it's Jay Brains. Hello, Jay Brains, it's me, Scooter Brown. Hello there, sir. I got to go smelt my shit. Scoo boot doo boo doo. Hey everybody, where did I leave my copper? Oh, oh, it's on my horse. Oh, okay, good. Right, we got copper and we got copper and ore on the horse, so I think we're actually good to go. Straight to the smelter. But let me just double check. I think I wrote it down right. Uh, da -da 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 -da. holy shit! Forty copper bars. Oh, damn. Oh. Oh, damn. Oh. Oh, damn. Okay. Um, Did I not write down Bubba's? Get wood from B. Okay, well, there we go. Bubba. I'm going to telegram Bubba on our way just to double check. Just to double check. Did I see Millie's dice? Yeah, I'm pretty sure I commented, didn't I? I might have just commented in my head, though. I'd do that. Don't threaten the townsfolk. Okay, so okay, everybody. Scooter's got it covered. There we go. Hey, Gherkin, calm down. Come here. Slow your roll, Gherkin. Okay, let's go. Ellie Hoop. I should say Valima time. Wait, there's another one. Where'd you go, you son of a bitch? I kind of like stalking the snakes. Is that it? I'm just listening. Okay, I think we're okay. Oh, hey, look, it's little pony cat. Hello, pony cat. Let's go. Pickles rolls so well. What? Sound-wise, you mean? Pickles. We know porch pirates aren't going to do it. I'm really sad. Like, I'm I'm gutted. Like, my experience as Obi so far is making me not want to bother logging on as Obi. And it's annoying because I need to in order to try to progress it so that it's not annoying anymore. Uh, no, dubstep. Uh, go ahead to make the uh, smelt it, dealt it joke. Uh, you, you can be the first one. Yeah, congrats. So proud of you, buddy. You did done good today. I uh, had my final suit fitting for the BAFTAs chat. It fits. Oh, really, Brands? 
Oh, it might be um, because I think you have to have been in the county for a certain number of weeks before you can be law. I think. Ah, it's my son. It's my son, Tyg. Dear Scooter, seems like you had quite the relaxing day. <laughs> Glad to know you're safe. Never had the opportunity to ride the trains myself. Still busy with book writing and whatnot. Maybe if you manage to get the stagecoach business running well, the train company may hear about the famous Scooter Brown and could hire as a conductor. Unfortunately, it seems as if Miss Adelaide isn't currently in the right headspace to be doing activities together. No such luck on my end. Hope to see your son, your son, Tyg McMullen. That's my boy. Uh, he is uh, unlucky in love, though, Scooter Brown. Oh, hey. Yeah, that's weird, Brands. Like, I know they, I know they're sort of semi-desperate for law at the moment. I think they just had a bunch leave. <clears throat> okay, let's get to the smelter. I think we're gonna get, we're gonna go and smelt this copper because I want to get a, a feeling for how many, uh, how many copper we need for um, each copper bar. You're tired of trying to be law, yeah. So we put a hit out on her husband for nothing? I know, right? <laughs> I know, right? I wasted five bucks. All right, let's keep your eyes out for deer, chat. We might be able to do a, a classic Scooter Brown drive-by on the way to the Schmelter. In fact, I think I've seen one. Oh, we've been rumbled, chat. We've been rumbled. Son of a bitch. Scooter. <gasps> what has happened to Scooter? That's it now, Chad. He's lost all his skills. Clearly, I'm too tired to be accurate today. <laughs> uh, Jay, I have a random fact for you to add to your list. The, tea, the term, who smelt it, dealt it, while uses... While used now for flatulence-based accusations, was in fact coined by a prospector who refused to pay a blacksmith to refine their ore. They were the first to smelt it and sell it in town. Just thought I'd take that... Mm. I'm not saying that the other channel has burned me, baseball. Uh, sorry, dubstep. But I don't feel like that's true. I don't, I don't feel like I'm going to believe that, but thank you for the 100 biddies. Um, and just as a reminder, chat, um, just like the other channel, just like the main channel, all 10% uh, of all subs having ad revenue and bits here will go to um, uh, special effects as well. There you go. There you go, Yuna. Have a, have a out loud in character, Uwu. are going to put the shotgun on just in case we're gonna grab our copper ore and our coal let's go see what we can let us see what we shall see oh, I'll tell you what it's a good place to ambush somebody because like that light difference when you come in from the sun is you can't really see in the room very much. All right, let's see. Copper bar needs three ore and one coal. Okay, I think we've got about... We've definitely got enough for ten. Oh god, I forgot you have to do it. It's one at a time, isn't it?
Just to keep my surroundings chat. At least somebody try to sneak up on old Scooter Brown. Just to have eyes in the back of your head and the old twist. Okay, so we've got a lot of ore. Well, at most, five more coal. I don't think Scooter's got any more coal, that's the thing. Head on a swivel. Watch your bike. Okay, we've got three more coal, so we can make three more bars. Um, and then we need to telegram Bubba and just make sure we got a full recipe list. <clears throat> Enjoy your meetings, Dubstep. How's everybody's Tuesday? I I don't know what day it is. Chat. I hate when my um, when my routine gets fucked with. Oh oh, Scooter! I'm very exciting for you. It, it was just in case any son of a bitch was ready to jump me. To get rid of this pay dirt as well, really. I'm nervous about that guy who was like, I saw you smelting gold. It's a day, sure. Big shilly. Dude, I, I got your email. Um, like it's in my head to reply, but I had just an absolutely ram day yesterday because I had to drive down to London and do a, a, a four hour session and then drive back. So I didn't get a chance to properly reply, dude. But um, holy shit, that's good. But I'll email you a proper reply. Can I just play it, chat, uh, Shilly? I just like playing folks the music you make because holy shit, is it good. I like, like, there's a bit, there's like almost like a double walking bass. It's not a walking bass, but it's when the bass kicks in with the guitar and they're walking the same, um, same line downwards. Chat, this is what, um, for those who don't know, Big Shitty Style in chat is the genius that, um, produced, um, just hide my outlook in case there's any game emails in there. Um, the Scooter Brown theme song. And they sent me this the other day. Um, has a potential piece of music. Uh, I can just do this. So fucking sexy. Right, Jack? It's so hot. Right? It's so hot. It, look, look, this is what I hate about people like, like Big Shilly, okay? 
that they're so unbelievably talented that they just spin that out and then they have the audacity to go excuse the crap solo what what <laughs> what shut your fucking pie hole excuse that amazing guitar solo <laughs> it's rubbish <laughs> you humble bastards <laughs> But yeah, um, I love it. I love it, Rich. I'm not, it's weird. Like, I'm not sure. Like, until the solo kicked in, I'm like, yeah, that fits with Obi. But then when the solo kicked in, it made me think of uh, Heath, who is sort of a bit like my Punisher character, funnily enough. He's an ex-mercenary pseudo-criminal. And I was like, oh, maybe that's something for Heath. Because Obi's like super traditional, so the solo is a little bit juxtaposed to his personality, but it's very much Heath's person personality. But holy crap, it's it's uh, it's so amazing! Oh, I do, I've got more coal. Ooh. Okay, if we've got more coal, in that case. Like, I'd imagine a solo for Obi would be much more, like, sound and genre-wise, the more real stereotypical country and western, like, western film sort of solo. But that solo made me immediately think of Heath, because it's just, like, a little bit sexy. All right, gorgeous. But, dude, it's such good music. You make such awesome... The fact that you're just like, ah, oh, just kind of spun this out. I'm like, oh. How dare. <laughs> How dare. Um, I don't know if you've seen it, Rich. I'll send you the uh, link to Obi's current intro if you want. I'm late. Can you play it again? Uh, yeah, let me just get... When we start running out of town, I'll put it on again. Um, just in case, because I'm more likely to bump into people in town. Howdy. Hello? Ah, do you hear me? I can hear you, yeah. Oh, hi. Yeah, you should howdy. I should howdy. It was a good day. Forget me already. Oh, what? I, I couldn't see you, son. It was too dark in there. <laughs> God damn, no, I didn't think... Right. I didn't even think... You changed your hair? Wasn't your hair longer? Yep. I knew it. You had a haircut. You can't trick me like that, you son of a... I'm old. I forget look, you. Look, I got a bit too drunk and went to the barbers. Well, it, was, look, it wasn't my plan. We've all been there, done that, son. Hmm. That's why I got a shaved ass. If you shaved your donkey? Sure, let's go with that. Okay. Yeah. How's you, how's you been anyway? Yeah, I heard you, you got my telegram I saw. Oh, yeah, I did see it. Yeah. It was fucking, I did not expect that. You had a very, um, uh, relaxing day, yeah? Oh, oh, yeah, sure. It was, it was great. I'm, I'm definitely not blooded, bruised, shot, and bitten. Nope, no, sure. No, you look you look healthy. Don't worry about it. Yeah, I mean, well, until I walk away, then you'll see. Um, I'm I'm all over the shop. Oh shit! Sorry to hear that. Oh, yeah, it's what you get for living out loud. You see. Let me just adjust my bandage here. Okay, that's better. So what's the plan today then? Well, I just been I just smelt smelted down a bit of copper. I was about to head back that way and uh, smelt the rest of it. I think I think there might be somebody following me around though. Yeah, really? Do you want me to be there as a protection? I mean, I mean, I got a pump now, but yeah, sure. I was, I was cooking up some venison by the campfire, and, and mm -hmm. I just heard, I saw you smelting gold. And I tried to talk to him, and he rode away on his horse like a little bitch. What a pussy. I know. I tried to chase him down, but he, he hid away. I didn't think he wanted to talk to all Uncle Scooter. 
He was afraid of your fucking shotgun, was he? Well, he's heard the stories of my hunting. In the bow from 100 feet away, yeah? Yeah, exactly. I'm going to get myself an improved bow when the gunsmith decides to wake the fuck up. No, they don't. Yeah. you don't get them a gunsmith. What, the improved bow? Yeah, you get it down in the, the general store right there. Oh, okay. Uh, somebody said the gunsmith. Well, in that case, I might be a bit luckier. Mm hmm Hey, How day? Okay, how about that? Okay, don't say hello to the hey, your constituents. The the she, she was just, you know, soft scoot around there. I was like, oh, I'm a bit nervous. I know? think uh, maybe it's just the shock of a lawman being off of the porch. You know, they feel out of mm. place. <laughs> yeah, they're fucking always there, aren't they? Well, you know, I'm, if you get scared, go and sit on the porch in Valentine. It's the safest place in all of Monroe. You could leave everything on the floor and it wouldn't be stolen. Yep, it's not gonna blow away. Come on, let's see if they right. got a bow in that shop. <laughs> you do have some limp on you now, don't you? Well, a wolf bit my thigh, son. What do you want me to do? Power through it. Power through I'm 67. It's a wonder I ain't dead from it already. Well, you're gonna be living to 180, so. That's true. Hello you're there. Basically... Hey, wait, anybody in here? Yeah, it's that son of a bitch Simon. He only works half days. Fuck's sake. Let's have a look through Do the catalog. Yeah. Nope. No improved bows in their catalog. They hoard the good shit. You know, it's on the secret catalog. Find out. Wait, there's a secret catalog? Well, that's what I'm thinking. <gasps> oh, look, they got cheese. Cheese? Oh, look here. Look. Pieces of cheese. Oh, hey, wait, what's in here? Oh, salted venison, salted beef. Mm. Oh, ma'am, scooters, mm -hmm. scooters dribbling. Getting a bit hungry? Yeah. Mm. Okay. Uh, I should leave before I do something unmentionable to these foodstuffs. I do like your shotgun. Hey, it's not too Very bad. Nice. Although, it didn't do much to save me from the, the wolves. Oh, that's unfortunate. Where'd I leave my gherkin? Gherkin? Yeah, I, I renamed him to gherkin because he's a fake pickle. Yeah. So I went with gherkin instead. Uh, I, I should grab my horse now. I'm on, you dumbass. But yeah, I was going then. Yeah, I was just going. I've only got a little bit of uh, how much have I got? Oh, I got a little bit more. I got some, uh, I don't know, about four more bars to smelt. And then I was going to go pop by Emerald Ranch, see if they got some more seeds, so make some money on those potatoes. Pretty sure I saw a blacksmith over there not too long ago, so hopefully he's still there. Oh, that'll do. I need to check actually with Bubba on what he wanted, to, what the requirements were for my wagon materials. I'm pretty sure you mentioned deer hide, and I have about 10 of them stored in my bank, so you'll be good on that, I think. Yeah, it's it's ram hides I needed. Oh, it's a ram? Yeah. Shit. I went up in the mountains looking for rams. I couldn't find fucking none of them. Oh, sorry. Come on, I'm the old one. I'm supposed to be shit at riding. Look, you're old, but if you're living to 180, you're basically 20 in scooter years. Okay, no, that's fair. Hey, wait, does that mean I got to go through my rebellious phase? Oh, you would have been that uh, when you were like 16, though. We, you know, yeah, but if I'm only halfway through how long I'm going to live. No, wait, I'm only 30% of the way through how long I'm going to live, so I'm a teenager. Yeah, we'll go with that. Sure, why not? Yeah, leave me alone. You're not my real dad. down that was was that believable yeah, that was great i'm gonna smoke and i will go to the dance Way into this place. clip clop clip clop i like to sneak up and park my pickle we, hold on i thought his name was gertrude Gherkin, but I, I call them Gherkin, pickle too, Gherkin. just to keep people on their toes. Oh, okay. 
And then I want us to hear all about what you've been up to right, since I've been unconscious. Did you not see my telegram? I heard, I mean, a little bit. You just been writing your book and getting nowhere with Adelaide. <laughs> yeah, that's about it. Well, goddamn, son, you gotta, you gotta live a little. I am trying to, but you know, shit ain't happening. Well, I have but to find was, you a new lady. There was, no, there actually is. Wait, you found There's one no on one. your own? Yep. Well, fuck me sideways. I learned from the best. I'm so proud of you. Hey, horsey, uh, sit down. It's the only thing with walk styles. They do fuck up most other things. Now, a good pickle. Good pick. Okay, hang on. Well, why don't you just go fuck yourself? Uh, this is why I thank you. This is why I want a donkey instead. They don't give me this shit. There you go. God damn. Yeah, go. All right. All right, everybody. This is a stick up. The brown boys are here. Come to steal your shit. Put your hands up. Yeah, take it all. All right, how much, uh, hang on. You wanna throw off your coat? I mean, how do you think I get this good tan? All right, let's get to smelting. You don't uh, need me to help, do you? I got you be fine on your own. Uh, yeah, I don't have uh, that much left. I just did most of it this morning. Perfect. Very just... basically, the new girl, uh, Elena. Elena. Uh, Elena. I went down. Elena. I oh, that's fancy. She, she does seem to have some uh, mental problems, but you know, she'll be. She's fine. Yeah, but I mean, you know about the hot crazy scale. No, what's that? The crazier they are, the better to the six. Oh, I see. Yeah, well, but then she must be like maybe 80% up on that scale. Wait, hang on. That means have you done the deed already? No, no, no. Okay, she's just real hot, huh? She is. Okay. Well, that means you're in for some good loving, but she might cut you a little bit. Mm. We'll find out if I'm in. <laughs> well, if you're anything like your old man, you're probably into all kinds of stuff. <laughs> hey, come on, Max. Get up. Oi, the fuck are you doing? Bastard. Hey, look, if you okay. got trouble riding your horse, you really don't want to be riding crazy. So where did you meet this, uh, Eleanor, wasn't it? Elena. Elena, that shit. Okay, Elena, not Adelaide. Uh, no, okay. Elena, Elena. Elena? Yeah. Okay, I'm just gonna call her Judy. Judy? Alright, we'll go it's, with Judy. Yeah, okay, it's just easier, you know. So where did you meet right. Judy? Well, I married down in the bank in Valentine. Oh, yeah, that's romantic. some words. Saying, you know, good morning, and then how we just woke up not too long ago. And then I went down to the good, she followed me down to the good telegram station. <gasps> She's like, oh no, I, this is really a coincidence. I didn't mean to follow you, but it was very obvious that oh, she did. Oh, she did. She knew she yeah, wanted she that did. tag, dick. And then and she was asking me, you know, I feel, I'm sorry, I don't want, mean to be a burden, but I was wondering if you would accompany me to San Denis. Oh. Every time I got alone. Uh, I got robbed or attacked bulls or something. Be there for you. And then, alright, go down here. This doesn't lead to. So then, you do you have to hold her real close as her bodyguard? Oh yeah, absolutely. Okay. So uh, then, what happens on the ride to Saint Denis? Paint me a picture. Saint Denis. We were going towards roads, and she was telling me about what's been happening with her how oh, she 
got drunk with one of our friends how they confessed her love uh, their love to her but she oh. didn't feel the same way oh phew <laughs> yeah. um basically how she was sheltered in her life she never really got out she's from new york and she never really got out to experience the world until now so she's very um she nearly got robbed five times over Oh, Jesus Just Christ. Just she's way too trusting of people. So how do you know she's crazy? She's crazy. Uh, she had brain surgery a couple of while back. Well, I mean, that just might mean she was ill. Or, or do you mean oh, she... no, no, no. And it could she was crazy. No, she... She would constantly try to make us do fucking insane things, like go break into a house and whatnot. Jesus Christ. Okay, so she's that yeah. flavor of crazy. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Okay. So we went down to San Denis and all the saloons were closed, so but there's no way to come back for drinks. We went back up here, got to the saloon, had a couple drinks. And, and I don't remember much from then on. Oh, oh, Gherkin, calm down. Hey, oh, excuse me, sir. Oh, God, this is a... Okay. All right, let's get rid of all of this and this. Ow! Oh, excuse me. So, I don't remember much after getting drunk. So you know how 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 is it left at the moment? Are you are you like going steady? Are you her boyfriend? No, we're not anything like that. We're just drinking partners, I guess. A drinking partners with benefits wink 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 maybe okay it, time will tell time will tell well i'm proud of you for getting out of your hidey hole and over the loss of adelaide and moving on with your life i didn't lose adelaide yeah but you lost a chance you know i didn't lose any chance what are you on about well i, I thought she loved you and you loved her and it was the romance of the century she was in love with her husband. <laughs> Boo. Okay. Well, I believed in you too. I wanted it to happen. Okay, I can't be going after a grieving woman like that. That's kind of, oh, kind look, of sick, isn't it? Give it a, a week or two weeks top. People die a lot out here. You got to move on fast. All right, I'll take your word for it. I got a pops to the... Oh, Scooter. Hi there. How's it going? Oh. Squeeze hey, past Scooter, you. How's it going? Yeah, not too bad. I'm, I'm, I got shot to shit and bit and all kinds of fuck the other week, so I'm healing oh. up. Lovely. Was it fun? Oh yeah, best night of my life. Oh, is that is that our shotgun I see on your back? Uh, Did that is. That yeah, that's an Ansberg original from Mr. Freetog. Yes. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh, it is wonderful and beautiful, isn't it? And it it, it did wonderfully straight. It did me good against the cougar. Not so much the wolves. They bit my leg, but it put down a bear. No problem at all. So that was good. Well, sir, you see, this is why you, my good sir, should buy an Ansberg firearm from Bear Arms. Well, yeah, that's exactly what I did. I'm the best, as Scooter says. I no, mean, I'm talking to him. Oh, I tell uh, me. It's not a public okay. endorsement, I'll be honest. But Scooter Brown's seal of approval has to go through a rigorous process. Oh, so you don't, you don't approve of the gun yet? I don't publicly endorse the gun. No, it's as good as any firearm I've ever had. I will give it that, but time will tell. <clears throat> Come on, Scooter. Cut me a break here. Be honest. You know it's the best gun you've ever had. Okay, let me think about it. Uh, no. You gotta work hard, why, George. Why is it not the best gun you've ever had, uh, Scooter? Well, because you see uh, this bloody gash on my thigh from the wolf that got past your gun? That's well, why. Well, that's user error right there. You, you, you obviously didn't use it right. Oh, I see. Okay, so I'll let it be known. Ansberg Bear Arms insults their customers. Okay, understood. You see how the problems just circle around you now, George? Not an insult, just the fact, maybe. Hey, trust me. This man to Excuse my it. right here I'm has seen me take man, down a... a real celebrity, and maybe you're trying to blackmail me, and maybe, maybe you're not a real celebrity, and... Maybe you're not famous. And... Now, George, I, I appreciate you. You're a young man. Uh, let me let me explain how blackmail works to you. Uh, 
I would have to get something out of it, son, and I haven't asked you for dick. I assume you know what dick is I since am, you sat there student. with it in your hand. I hope you have a heart attack and fucking die on those those little stairs right there behind you. <laughs> Holy, is that, hold the is, fuck up. Is, is, that, is that all you got? Hold you, on a second. There's got to be a better insult in that yeah. little melon head of theirs. You hurt my feelings and I hope you have a heart attack and fall over and break your hip and die. Well, that's, I'm, I'm sad you got that kind of life, George. It's okay. Don't worry, you'll find love at some point. You've broken my heart, Scooter. Well, it's okay. I might it'll, just kill myself now. It'll heal in the bosom of a good lady. Scooter, I'm going to kill myself. You, you've ruined me. I think you'll be just fine, George. Right, Ty, should we go see about some stew? Yeah, we'll go see about that. Oh, that player is rough, man. Like, that's a lot. Like, yeah. Yeah, that's... Yeah, that's not cool. What was this from? Yeah, I don't know. I've, I've bumped into him a few times. I always try to disengage pretty fast. Hey, evening, folks. Adios, How's it going? Gentlemen. I love your hat, and I love your hat. Wait, that's both our hats? Yes. Both well, who oh, I got... I love this saloon. <laughs> <laughs> It's a pretty nice rifle in your bag too. What's that, a uh, bolt action? Bolt action, yeah. I love it. Yeah, I love the bolt action. It's my go-to when I'm using the bow. Anyway, let me just put this glass down. How may I help you two, young man? Yeah, you call me young man? Jesus Christ, this day's oh, getting man. so better. Um, I'm, I'll just take a, a stew if you got any on. Stew, I do, but if you want to I'll... save yourself some money and get a bit for later, we do have a deal going on. Uh, four stews for $10 instead of just the one for three. Saves you two dollars in a couple uh, of Yeah, that'd be good. Let me just go. I got. A, I'm a little short, so I just go grab a few more bucks from the bank. I'll be right back. <laughs> yes, I got right. ten on me right now. Believe it or not, I'll be here. All right, so that's uh, two suit <laughs> deals or just the one. Mm -hmm. the, say, say again. Da, 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 down. Yeah, and also, like, I'm pretty sure there's no, like, you're not supposed to do any suicide roleplay and uh, shit like that. count as one both each, I count as two because I'm like... I'm the best looking. I vote I'm the best looking. Well, I have heard that about myself as well. Uh, uh, uh let's take ten. Were, um, majority, Did so. you know oh. that I am the master of time hey, and space, so it's my decision? Who is? What guy? Oof. God. <sighs> <laughs> Did you hear that chat? <laughs> Wor worry not, Scooter. I already paid for it. Well, uh, god damn. A, a, a father is supposed to care for his son, not the other way around. There you go. Well, I'm using this to blackmail. Give me five. <laughs> okay. <laughs> or you can just get another four stews. I do, eat, I do eat a lot. <laughs> That's got to be said. Uh, look. look. It saves you money and it saves you another trip to the saloon. That's true. I tell you what, Alec, I can't have my son holding up my end of the bargain. Give us another ten bucks worth of stew. There you Still. go. No blackmailing me, son. I got, I got you, pig. Uh. Yep. You been busy today? I tell you, not really. I just opened up thirty minutes ago. Yes. Our apple strudels are Ooh. flying off the shelves. Well, we do like them. I had one of them oh. the other week. It was damn tasty. I love a good apple They are. Them. Only problem is, it took me a few days working here just to learn how to goddamn pronounce it. Well, well, and now I gotta know, how, how did you start off Ooh. pronouncing it? Um, just kind of letter by letter, really. It's spelled really weirdly in our, you know, the uh, word. A A P P L E S struggle. I know, like, apple strudel. Isn't it like apple or something like that? Oh, we got the German version? Apfelstrudel? Yeah. Apfelstrudel, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> hey, where's Professor Freetalk? We need Professor Freetalk down here. He, he speaks German, I think. He'll, he'll know. I speak a little bit of German. I'm in a German town on the road. Oh, it's you nice. Just about oh, wow. three sentences. Ich spreche ein bisschen Deutsch. I have a Alice, huh? Yeah, uh, yeah, ich spreche ein bisschen Deutsch. That's about it. Yeah. yeah. I can order a beer and introduce myself. Now, hang on now. Ordering a beer? Now, that one I need to know. I know. You can... It's just... <laughs> I need to hear it, too, actually. Let's hear this. Go on ahead. 
Oh, you got me all nervous now. What if I say it wrong? <laughs> hey, what? Don't you just like, just say it louder and slower? Like I want a big beard. That's that's how it works, ain't it? Well, yeah, but I don't know. I ain't ever been to Germany. Ooh. Oh, that's, uh, oh, that's excuse me. That's it's, good stuff. Uh, it's ich werde eine Bier bitte. Or beer drinking beat so it's I want a beer or I want to drink a beer. And the beer beer drinking? If you were dying a beer drinking beta, you have to say please because the Germans oh, are bitter. But be beater beater on or beer better please. Beater I barely know her. Uncle Mega <laughs> uh, sixty seven years young, you learning them new languages. Sixty seven damn, I wouldn't have given you a day over sixty two. Well, you're again too kind. Look, I've already bought the damn stew. You don't have to put so much mustard on it anymore. Yeah, I was hoping you'd get a meal too. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, but that's why I'm a local celebrity on the kind of being so old. Is ya? Yep, Scooter Brown. It's C double O T E R B R O double A and it's uh, Scooter Brown. Here's right. my my son, Tiger. I only met him a week ago, but we are like father and son. <laughs> you met your son a week ago? Yes, That's sir. Fine. I reckon I got a kid running around. I don't know about neither. Yeah, that means you've just lived a colorful yeah, life. No, you got no idea. Couldn't be any more colorful than 7XOs, could it? Hey, look, hey, look. Yeah, I mean, I like love, okay? Don't judge a man. That's fair. You ever run that on one of them a day before the wedding? I thought about it uh, seven times, but never did it. <laughs> <laughs> I went through with it with my first one. <laughs> you ran away? How'd that work? I no, gotta no, know. No, it, no, no, it weren't exactly like that. And I don't want to get into specifics of it, but uh, we were just about to get married and some stuff came out and I had to leave to keep her safe. Well, now, that's an honorable move. I thought you were going to tell me she was a bitch and you just left, but that's you're a good man. No, no. That was my second one. <laughs> oh, Damn. Hey, no, look, I'm joking, you... I'm joking. I've only been married once. Oh, Good lamp. my God. I'm horrible, okay? I'm joking. No, I've only been married once. I still am. Look, just sometimes kid. it just takes practice, okay? One moment, one moment. I need to go out for a quick cigarette. Do it. Everyone likes to smoke. Yep. Also, uh, howdy to you, miss, <laughs> at the end of the bar. I'll come down and introduce myself. Howdy. Hi there, miss. How you doing? I'm good, how are you? Yeah, I'm not too bad. What, what's your name, lovely? My name's Callum. Hi, Callum. Nice, nice to meet you. What you, what you do around these uh, Monroe parts? Uh, I'm actually an attorney, and I bartend here every once in a while, and I also sell books and run the newspaper, The Valentine Vesper. Well, Jesus Christ, how do you have time to do it? That's so impressive. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> All I do is, well... Fish and hunt. Never mind, I changed my mind. I'll oh, do it later. You, you see, <laughs> cigarettes are the devil's whisper. Yeah, should, whatever her name is, keep getting in the way. She's trying keep to stop you. So. Like, That's Agatha. Agatha? I thought her name was Anastasia. Well, something with an A. Hey. Something with an A. I don't know. I don't. Antonia. A Alessio. Abracadabra. I don't, I don't really engage with the working girls here. I let them do their thing, but I'm just here to serve <laughs> drinks. Hey, wait, she's a working girl? I I'll be back in a second. That's good. Yeah. Oh, don't get any ideas. <laughs> Fuck's sake. Damn it. Hello. Seven. Hello, yeah, Alicia. Okay. My name is Scooter Brown. You are looking lovely. Why, yes, that is my own hat. You would like to see what is underneath my hat? Okay, I will show it to you, my dear. Oh, <laughs> okay, that tickles. Oh, <laughs> legend father is uh, quite the man. Oh, okay, I'm back. Welcome back. My goodness, look at that full head of hair at 67. Yeah, she she took my hat. She took your. You know what? I can't say I blame her. I think I might have been done. You might have been. <laughs> didn't even get nothing in return, did you? Not even a little uh, over the pants. I, she she ruffled my hair and I got all scared and ran away. I've been there before. Why do you think I cut mine off? It's smart. Hey, hey, Tig, we need to go get me a new hat. Just an unrelated topic. Completely unrelated. Just yeah. ask for the hat back. I mean, she might. Oh, okay. Hmm. Look, if I didn't, couldn't, I couldn't stop my ex-wife taking my house. You think I could stop her taking my hat? 
tell you what, you get a bottle of milk, I'll go get the hat. Okay, I'll buy a bottle of milk. There you go. Oh. Seven hundred dollars. <laughs> okay. No, no, it's it. uh. no, ain't no way I killed him. Dear God. Heart attack, that's what it was. You gotta be careful uh, around the elderly. Right. Tell you what, just for that heart attack, I'm gonna get your hat back. You're very kind. Thank you for looking out for me. Of course. Hey, and, and Stacia or whatever. You know, damn it. <laughs> Can't rob her damn customers like this. <laughs> oh, wait, are we in the saloon? Yes, here in the saloon. Uh, again, I love it. So, I love we did Clarita, them. remember Clarita? Yeah. Why do you think she ain't here no more? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much. You're a good man. Uh, I wouldn't go that far. Oh shit, Ari. Oh, it's my friends again. No, I don't want to buy a gun, and it's good to see you. And I reckon the answer is. I really want to eat these nuts. I don't think I can oh, get I know close the enough. Blind oh. man. This, this is Mr. Thaddeus, I believe. Correct. Voice. Yes. Yeah, recognize me. I got a Thaddeus. distinct look, don't go. I? Uh, yes, uh, yes. More, more, more distinct smell. Is that. Hold up one second. Is that woman I stabbed? Yes, mm. that is. It, it, it's her right there. How may I help you? <laughs> I'm hungry. I'm very, You're very hungry. hungry. All right, how can I get you in? Can you just give me your name? Because I keep forgetting names. Daddy, so I'll remember your name, right? Listen, all right. I, I I'll ask, work with the... one thing of you, and it's to remember mine. I'm the I'll blind the guy, but that's all people know me for. I work with the fella next to you, and I don't know his name. Yes, because he's forgettable. He really oh. is. You ain't. I, I remember. Oh, no, there. I'm high. <laughs> what can I get? <laughs> what, what can I get you? Okay. Chat, I'm high. <laughs> Sorry, I think you're lucky you're blind. Yeah, I'm lucky I'm blind. He you're says. lucky you're blind. You know what? I wish everyone was blind. That would yeah. be lucky. The yeah, world would be a better place, eh? But yeah. uh, yeah, what, what what can I get for six dollars? Six dollars? Uh, you can get an extra dollar on you now for sure. Feel you real nice. I've got. I tell you what, what. Six dollars forty six. No, tell you what. You tell me your name without getting angry. No, I give you the apple shooter for five dollars. My name's Kane Patel. Slower. My name is Kane Patel. Mr. Patel, all right. I'll get you the apple shooter. Thank you. You done right? Hi, 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 Tag. Is that you? That's that's me. Well, <laughs> you, right? you doing okay? Yeah. Oh, shit. The, them doctors gave me this one. Oh <laughs> uh, no! I can smell colors. Okay, how about uh, no? How about we just sit you down? Come on. Bye. Okay. Here you go. Oh, it's right in front of you. Right here, right here, right here. Thank you. Of course. Sit down, right there, right Is there. Is this there the stuff go. that's gonna make me smell colors? That, that's what Hello, I'm sir. Uh, time. Hello, sir. No, you no, have no, a, a no. lovely moustache. No, just don't don't be bothering the poor man. Just Tags, look at his look at his mustache. Look at it. I see it. I see it. I see it. It's very big, very bushy. I, need to I want to touch it. No, you can just a little it. bit. But I love him. So you you you've got your own big mustache. Look at it. Look at it. Look at your own big mustache. Why don't you touch your own? Oh, why well, just on my face? No, it's it's your get hair, it off your, my face, Tag. No, I'm not gonna get off your uh -huh. face. No, get right, this off my face. Hold on. Why is there fucking... Hold on, you need to calm down, you need to calm down. Good there. Yes, oh hello Tag, welcome to my office. How may I help you oh. today? Okay. Well, you see, I've been having some issues. Please, do tell me about their issues. Can you see a deer? See a deer? Yeah, I'm just checking that you can see a deer too on the stairs. I'm not seeing any deer. Oh. Hey, it's back again! What deer? Oh. Are, are you sure you're not the one with issues? Hold on, let's, let's just. Okay, how about you just calm down? Look, there's no deer. It's. You're all okay. Doc, it's right behind you. I don't see a deer right behind me. I think he wants your cheese. My cheese? I don't have cheese. The cheese we took in the general store. He wants our cheese. Oh, you took cheese from general store? Don't yeah. Cheese? It's I Are mean, you kidding me? I need the cheese. Where's the cheese, Tag? You need the cheese. Why'd you steal cheese? Because it's full of that dairy goodness. 
Oh my god. You could have just gotten the bottle of milk from your man. What the fuck is going on? <laughs> I'm still not seeing any deer. I just could also, just, you I, need to return that cheese as soon as... Well, I could just... Hang on. Want to go? No. No. Like, no. no. Like, should, your problem show. Yeah, let, 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 let go. Let, no. Okay, hold out your hand. No, I'm not holding out my hand for you to fucking spit it back in. Okay, well, and then I got to eat the cheese tag. It's either just, in just or eat, out. Just eat the cheese. Eat the cheese. Eat the it's cheese. in or out. Okay. It's in. It's in. Ah. Oh, oh, God. That's bubbly. You're going to need to pay for that. I, pay for what? Pay for the cheese, you say. What cheese? I think you have problems, Tag. Have you been drinking? You... Well, I was drinking earlier, but you're the one that's going on about a deer that's in the saloon. There's no deer in the saloon. You're talking crazy. What? What deer in the... Come on now. You've been drinking too much. But you said there was a deer. I, I never said so much. So, have you been smoking them funny cigarettes? You really should just do not fight. Look, look at you. Yeah, you're fucking up. You're off of it right now. I'm a wizard. No, you're not a wizard. I could be, though. You're gonna get burned at the fuck stake for saying that, all right? Okay, sorry. Alakazam. Everybody forgets. No. Forgets what? Who are you? <laughs> Who are you? I'm Scooter Motherfucking Brown. That's my middle name. Is it on account of all the ex-wives you have? Yeah, well, yeah. And all the miscellaneous children I'm unaware of. Mm. Okay. okay. Sort that out. Oh, the deer is back. There is no deer. You, you just told me there wasn't a deer. Now there is a deer. Now there wasn't a deer. What deer? Stop going on about a deer, Tag. What's oh wrong with you? Oh my God, I'm getting a headache. Okay, I'm gonna get some air. Okay. Yeah. Let's let. Yeah, that's great idea, actually. Come on. Let's uh, get some air. Okay. Come on. There we go. Way. <laughs> Not through the window. Step back. Come on. Back from the window. Let's go. That's the door. Come on. Everybody that's the out. That's a window. That's what? A, that's a window. You're not going through the window. Oh. Okay. Over the banister yeah, then. <laughs> what? No. 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 Tag, you have to invent something to get us down from here. We are too high. Okay. Have okay. A okay. Stairs. What? Stairs? And I thought I was the wizard. Come on. One oh. step at a time. Don't fucking fall now. One. Uh, oh. Uh, oh. Yeah, you do 20 toes. Uh, uh. Okay, we're down now. Is that it? No, no. A bit more, a bit more. Okay. Uh, uh, uh. Oh! Oh shit! Oh god! What's that? What's that last step, Tom? That's that's the oh, do. That's the real doozy. <laughs> oh, hey! Oh, hello, Tog. How did we get here? We were here the entire time. You, what did they put in that fucking cigarette? I don't know, but I want another one. <laughs> no, we, we are not. We we are not getting you another one of those. Okay, hang on. I gotta tell these. I gotta tell these folks. Hey, hey, guys. Yeah. You want to get some of those, um, cigarettes from the doctors? I just had the best day out. What cigarettes? I don't know. I I got I bit, I got cigarettes. bit and shot the and they gave cigarettes? me a cigarette. And everything Wait, went yellow you... and I saw a deer and I'm pretty sure God turned up at some point. I think the doctor gave me the same cigarettes. Can, can you confirm? Is it these ones? I don't know. I want more. I tell you that much. <laughs> yes. I am quite bad at writing business proposals. Are you? <gasps> That's them. That's the well, one. I'll look it over for you. You know, I mean, you while we're through? running the bar and having you stand here, yes. No, we're not going on for a second oh, time with that. Well, I'll look it over for you if you want. You, know, you shouldn't talk to uh, your well, father so that way. So far, I have got the words Valentine Goods for proposal. Oh, there is no way. You nearly hurt yourself doing that. No, I, I feel stronger you than ever, Ty. That's all you've got. Yeah, a little bit extra. But I might need mm. to go and vomit well, if now. if you want me to look at it, just let me know. Well, uh, let's not do that in here. Okay. okay. Start Excuse me, folks. Uh, vomit train coming through. Oh. 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 Excuse me, sir. Oh. Oh. 
Oh, for fuck's oh. sake. Don't look at your daddy! Yeah, I'm not looking. I'm around the corner. <laughs> hey. Okay. Okay, I think I think I, I think that's all of it. I think that's all of it. Oh, round two. Mm. <laughs> okay. Okay. Oh, oh, hi, hi. hello there. You feeling better? Yeah, I'm feeling. I'm feeling good now. All right, you don't have another one of those cigarettes on you, do? No, he he tried. I think he's a drug dealer. He tried to give me one, but I just looked at it to check it was the same. So, do you have one or not? Is all I'm I, I do not have one on me until maybe I get bitten again. Okay. Be right, careful, so son. You wanna go? Oh, don't say yes to drugs. I mean, say yes to drugs maybe once, and then think about saying no after that. Oh, keep that in mind. Clearly, it doesn't do well for you, though. Uh, what do you mean? I had a great adventure. I was a wizard. You threw up behind the saloon. You were not a wizard. I was a wizard. Don't take that away from me. I look at the hat. I got all the parts. <laughs> Ooh, I might need to go fill my flask and wash my mouth Don't out need... a little bit. Yeah, please. You got, got vomit all over your beard. Okay, let, let me get washed off. Oh, let me go brush that out. <laughs> <laughs> what a great little sequence. <laughs> what a great little sequence that was. Uh, I really want to um, bind forward slash interact to uh, uh, to my mouse button though. I might do that now while I remember. Yeah, I had no idea that those um, those uh, joints did that. It's like just a pain relief joint, right? Uh, oh no, it's not a stream deck I want. I need Logitech. That's what I need. Give me two seconds, chat. I just want to bind this uh, macro. Let's see. Create a new macro. Name this macro Interact. I want you to not repeat. I want you to record... T, I'm going to record keystrokes. T, forward slash, interact. Enter. Stop recording. Save. All right, view two. Let's grab interact, put it on my forward mouse button. Okay, I think. Let's try it out. Hey, perfect. Just because forward slash interact works for a lot of stuff if you if there's no prompt for it. Oh god, I remember that, yeah. The elixir that makes you see cows. I know there's like some tonic kind of stuff you can do in, in ranch. I'm not sure how deep it goes, but I know you can mix certain herbs with your uh drinks and stuff. Okay. Oh, you actually fill the bucket up? Oh, interesting. So you get a different prompt if you actually interact. All right, I do actually need to drink this water, though. <clears throat> oh, God, that was funny. That was fun, RP. Doom, 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 doom. Okay. Uh, fill that back up. I should buy a couple of bandages or something, actually. Nuggy count? Uh, Nuggy count, we are at zero um, because we got two bars done. So we now have, we literally just last session finished off um, getting the second bar done. So we're on, we're on bar three now, which is not, it's not going too badly to be fair. <clears throat> it's not going too badly at all. Um, I do want to check though, because I thought. Okay, so I don't have my lantern on me. Have, have you 
asking mm -hmm. me 10 minutes ago, you would not think I dress fancy in any way, shape, or form. But oh, don't when I, I, can work, go for, I can I go for chicken nuggies. Off, right? Right. Makes ah. sense then. No. Well, I'll let you get back to work then. Oh, um, do take yes, care. Sir. You too. Alright, let's just check. Because I thought I had a lantern. Okay, I don't have a lantern. And I'm pretty sure the lantern isn't on my horse either. Uh, let's try that. Okay, so Scooter doesn't have a lantern. And we really do need one. We need to grab him a lantern and a compass. Did UK get Chick fil A? No. Well, that's not lovely. Yeah, we've been pursuing it since. Can you hear that? Oh, yes. goodness gracious. Uh, from now, I have to lock the door every time I work on a gun. I'm alone with Chick fil A. Where'd T go? He was just outside the bar, so he may have just popped back in. I think I can just see him there at the bar, actually. So I'll just grab this lantern and the compass. Is there lore on the porch? <laughs> Probably. Okay, let me just grab. Uh, it's not a Davey lantern. It's just lantern. Yeah, lantern. And what else did I say, chat? Compass. There we go. Uh, I don't know what the difference is between a Davy lantern and a regular lantern. How am I doing for arrows? 24. Okay, let's grab some arrows. <clears throat> uh, but server restarts in 10 minutes, so there isn't particularly time to go and do anything. Get uh what did I say chat six arrows. Okay. Um and one is it I've got a revolver, isn't it? One revolver round. Okay, I got a sneeze. Bye bye. Yes, I did. I did those sneezels, chat. <sighs> Alright, scooter is now look, it's three! That's probably all the lore that's on the server right now. <laughs> How's the new PC? Uh, sales? Is it everything you hoped and more? I'm gonna put this fucking horse down. I got worried then. I thought someone had nicked my horse. Uh-huh. Okay, and then... Oh, no, hang on. Right-click. B. Alright, and then... If I stable... Um, Gherkin. And then bring him out. Should have. <sighs> oh no, Sales. Did you trip and order a new monitor? Oh no. Oops. Alright, retrieve Gherkin. And we should now have a Gherkin with headlights! <laughs> There we go. <clears throat> Just to make us nice and obvious while we ride around. Pimp my gherkin. <laughs> Everyone's after leaving now. Uh, it, what? Everybody is after leaving now. After leave? Wait, what? How can you leave after you've left? Uh, you know, you're a wizard. You should know this. Well, I mean, I don't understand because as a wizard, I arrive exactly when I uh, mean to. That nice lawman that ordered a gun from me. Oh, God. Hey, right, let's, let's give this a try. You know how to play piano. I know how to play everything, son. Okay. <clears throat> I saw I got stage fright. <laughs> God damn it, it wouldn't let me play it. 
Her seat wasn't comfortable enough. Hmm. Oh, is there nowhere to play it? Harmonica Moonshine. Oh, oh. Oh, no, that's not. Nope. You're, um, I don't know. I you're don't scared too. Yeah. Hang on, let's, let me do this instead. Let me try. Come on. Ugh. There you go. How about that? All right, that works. There you go. See, your old man's very good at plucking. Plucking and fucking. Hey, now, don't be rude. We're in the house of God. <laughs> house of God? House of God, my ass. Hey, where else do you see more God than in a saloon, my friend? And the working girls call for him every time, so... <laughs> yeah. I thought that's the guy that bought the gun from me, but he's just sitting on a police station. You're sitting on the hey. Um, you know what, Sean? You're amazing at this. Well, you got plenty of time to practice. You able to play some Irish dancing music? Yeah, I just, uh, I kind of just play whatever comes to me in the moment. <laughs> you know how to play any instruments, boy? Uh, maybe. I, I can give it a shot. I've been learning, but not very good at it. Wait, what you been learning with? Banjo? Harmonica? Hardy Banjo, yep. Yeah. Yeah, see if you can play along. I don't know how this works. I'm not sure if it will align the songs or not. It's not Sea of Thieves. Can you say something? Not bad. Could be better. Clearly, I like the experience. Oh yeah, Six, you'll get better ago. at plucking with age. Just go with the movement. Hey, you you tell your new show your new lady friend those finger movements. She'll be putty in your hands. Uh, someday I will. Maybe you can use. Oh, oh, you know. What? You think you can use your toes to play the banjo as well? I, I mean, I, I reckon I'd give it a good bet. Yeah. What are toes but feet fingers? Exactly. Well, I'm gonna get out of this place, uh, George. Hopefully, I'll see you again. Oh, it was good talking again. You have a good one. You as well. I can't the stop. Music stopped. I can't. The, the beat was yeah. moving me, Ty. Crazy, I killed that mascot. Who did you you feel it in your bones. Yeah, well, I mean, what's well, left of him? Some deer running a muck in the in the saloon, and I fucking beat it to death. How long have I been in Raj? Uh, I want to say about three weeks. 
I don't worry. Hey, look, there, see, right there on the left-hand side, there's just a little bit of gravity to watch out for. But other than that, you'll yeah. be okay. Okay, okay. Are you going to be around after this storm? I was going to just do some gold panning or mining or some such. Uh, no, I actually won't be. Well, that's okay. I'll, I'll, that's the one that stole my hat. Huh? Jeez, shit is. Yeah. A big no, bully. She, I, see if you can talk to her. I you can't know, talk to her. Half a reason. Come on. Oh, you, okay, you okay, 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 I'll do it. <clears throat> you got me with a woman and then I did it by myself. You surely can do it. Okay, but right now I just feel like I'm just stalking a woman as she walks away. Oh, hello there, madam. What a fine um pair of tits you have. Oh, I got it wrong. I did. I did it wrong. I did it wrong. You're not supposed to do that. I, I got flustered. I know there's a worker lady, but you can't be seeing that. Well, they were like right there. It's all I could see. Talk, talk about her blonde hair or something like that. Okay, blonde hair. Blonde hair, not her blonde tits. Blonde hair, lipstick. Okay. Well, she's getting away now. I can't walk any faster. I'm 67. He's after her. Oh, she's coming back. Oh, is she luring me to get robbed? <clears throat> oh, he hello, madam. Fancy seeing you here. But she told me to go die in a fire. No, she wasn't even worth it. She's fire below your <laughs> standards. It's okay. I, I understand. No, no, no. She, she just. She's not just the girl for you, you know? It's okay. Your old man knows when he's in time to be put out to pasture. No, no. You got another 180 years to go. Oh, yeah, it's true. Okay. Wife number eight coming up. <laughs> Don't leave this one now, though. Oh. I like how attached you are to your banjo. I like how attached you are to your banjo. Yeah, well, am I attached to my banjo, too? Uh, I didn't realize I was attached to mine, but... Uh, we just been wandering around town with our banjos out in front of everybody. <laughs> so embarrassing. I know. Thank God the storm is coming. Everyone will forget. No wonder the lady in the dress didn't want to talk to me and my, my banjo being out. <laughs> Perfect. I've just been sitting here with my banjo out. Uh, oh, I fucking love it. I love it. <laughs> All right, let's go back in. Oh, I'll tell you what, chat. Before we go back in, I'll play you that music again um, that the amazing Big Shilly Style, who is in chat, wrote uh, for Obi. Have a listen to this. It's so good, right, chat? I don't know what you call it, but it's like it's the double, like, walking bass that gets me. Also, my two. Uh, thank you very much for playing along uh, with the scooter getting high 
shit, buddy. That was... Oh, I was in stitches. I was in stitches. You were the perfect straight man to Scooter being high. <laughs> I'm a wizard. Uh, no, you're not a wizard. I'm a wizard. You're a wizard, Harry. Could... Maitu, could you see the deer? Or were you just... Um, uh, were you just making it up? That you couldn't see... Um, the deer. Because, oh, you did see it. Well, they're nicely played in that case. Nicely played. Look at my head. <gasps> uh. Right, chat. I think we will, uh, we'll probably chill out with some nuggies, I think. With some nuggie farming. We have some nuggy. Oh, am I instanced? Oh, no, I'm okay. Yeah, I think we'll play, we'll go do some chill out nuggie farming. Uh, we do need to telegram Bubba, though, just to get the final... Uh, ingredient count for this wagon. Thank you, Callum. Thank you very much. I am 100% bullshit, is what I am. <clears throat> but Scooter Brown is my, is my, is my Shelly character. Howdy. Um, and no, Angry Beaver, I don't think I've met Mr. Moon yet. Oh, you were the girl? You were great. I wanted to chat to you more. Um... I've got two characters like I, I was like Scooter is a comic comedy ish character um but he'll like he'll be sensible when he when things need to be sensible but then I smoked this joint that the doctors gave me and my screen went yellow and I was like well I guess we're playing along with this now <laughs> is someone making the wagon for us yeah so essentially you got two options with something like a wagon you can you can just straight up buy one but I wanted to do the RP of getting all the materials together. So we're mining for, for various... Hello? We're mining for various ores and stuff to make copper and gold and silver and iron and stuff. And then we're going to take it to a blacksmith um, and get them to make it up for us. No worries, Callum. Thank you very much for the, for the fun RP. I will see you in the saloon at some point, I'm sure. What do you mean, my Duke? Scooter is clearly a very sensible character. It'd be interesting to meet your character as, as my other um, character, actually. I am toying with bringing Heath in. But the trouble is, I don't really want to split my time between three. It's hard enough splitting my time between two. As Obi, yeah. Like, I don't know how law-abiding uh, Teague is. So what did I want to do? I wanted to tally around Bubba, didn't I? Which I think was B-U-B-B-A-S. Uh... Wagon ingredients. Hi, Bubba. Um, wanted to let you know. Oh, it's me, Scooter Brown, local celebrity. I'm still working on the wagon uh, materials. Could you send me the in? Ingredients list. I've got a rough note written down, but would be nice to know. Shoot. Scooter. Brown. Okay, cool. I like that it tells you if it's a Duff Telegram number as well. Catvog! Thank you very much for gifting a sub to my two. Ali hoop. Okay. Uh, do we panel farm? Panel farm. Panel farm. Christina! You get my wife's name right! <laughs> Thank you very much for giving us up to Callum. Much preach, gang. Much appreach. Much appreach? Jesus, Jay. Say the whole word. I didn't even talk about my swimming experiences today, chat, on this channel. Oh, by the by, the by uh, for those who are uh, watching on the other channel um, tonight, which is over there, uh, for our next episode of Pendragon, I won't be going live until half six this time. Um, half six tonight, mainly because doing a full hour of chat is fucking exhausting, to be honest, before doing a three hour RP set. Um, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go live at half six today, so half an hour later than usual. 
<clears throat> any good hands or feet? Um, no. There was just there was just one uh, woman who arrived like halfway through the session, got into the fast lane, and was a combination of slow, which like I, I'm not going to judge somebody's speed because I know I'm not the fastest in that lane, right? But she was slow, so was getting in everybody's way. But that's not the issue. She wouldn't get out of the way. Like she wouldn't stop at one end and let people go past and then she kept st um, staying at the deep end and doing like chin-ups on the edge of the pool at, in the bit where everyone needs to turn around and then she kept doing that thing where you know if you're in your car and you can see a car at a junction waiting to pull out onto the road you're on every fucking time she was doing these pull-ups at the end of the pool um, I would be getting to the end of the pool and she would wait until I was right there about to turn around and then she would essentially pull out in front of me and start swimming in front of me slower than I'm going. And I was just like, oh my God. Oh, and to top it all off, chat, she um, was trailing perfume behind her as well. I was like, you, no, please just no. It was just like every time I was getting close to her, she would start swimming in front of me and it's just like Ugh! like i had to keep when it got to the shallow end i had to keep like standing up and turning around to get in front of her and like i say i don't care if you're a bit slow we're all you know trying to get better etc etc but at least have the presence of mind like i do like if people are catching up to me i stop and let them go past it's called not being an asshole Dolphin leap. <laughs> Perfume before you swim. I know, right, Raving? I don't get it. And because it's in water, it leaves this, like, trail of smelly water behind you. And it's really, really frustrating. Top Hat, thank you very much for 500. Wait, we've got a hype train? Wait, we've got a gold hype train? Why am I getting a gold hype train on my secret channel? Stop this immediately. Uh, but thank you very much for the 500 biddies. Uh, top hey. Uh, to Choo choo, motherfuckers. Wait, let's go and get on an actual. We could have a hype train on a train chat. We need to make that happen one day. We need a hype train on a train one day just for the inception of it all. After you swim, but before. I know, right? I don't I don't understand it. And there's something about smells in water that is just so, you know, like it's why um it's why petrichor smells so nice, right? It's not that the grass suddenly smells more. It's that the rain facilitates your ability to smell the grass. So perfume in a swimming pool does exactly the same. Like you can you can smell it so readily. Andy. Daddy, thank you very much for the hundred biddies. Choo choo, everybody. Uh, the free vacuum that was included will arrive. Wait, have you got a little vacuum for your new PC sales? Keep it. That's so good. Thank you for the hype train bunch. Y'all are good people. Oh no, a full... Wait, what sales? What? <laughs> like a full-blown vacuum for a house, right? Is this what you're telling me? I don't... Who in marketing went, do you know what people that buy monitors need? A hoover. Like, I... I, I can't put those hands together. Who sell... Who... Is it the same brand of Hoover? Have you bought like a Samsung Hoover and you're getting a Samsung monitor? Is that how this is going to work? Oh, is that cooked? Okay, that's raw. Okay. So what I'm hearing is that Samsung don't sell enough Hoovers. So they're just offloading them with their monitors now. That's what I'm... That's what I'm hearing. All right, there we go, chap. It's time to settle in with some 
relax music chat with Jay and pan for gold uh gherkin uh, excuse me where the fuck do you think you're going what what are you doing gherkin come back here and be silhouetted by the sun like a good horse I hope so too, King. We should be we should be safe here. Ish. Gherkin needed to poo. I sh I shall the gherkins and whatnot coming out. I don't know what that I don't know what that noise was, Jay. Oh look, my BAFTA ticket has arrived. Yay. Shall I, shall I be that guy, Chan, when I get to the BAFTAs? And then I, sorry, do you have any photographic ID? And I'll just pull up my IMDB page. I'll be like, ah, sorry, don't you know who I am? And it'll be like, no. And I'll be like, that's fair, actually. Here's my driver's license. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to do the red carpet, chat. Red carpets is just the worst experience in, in, in... I hate them. Especially when you're not important. Red carpets, when you're not important, are really weird. And I'm... I'm prepared for it, but they're weird. You get to show off how good you look now, though. That's true. That is true. We did uh, we did check our outfits earlier today, and we're like, oh, yeah, there you go. That's all right. Because here's what, here's what you don't see, right? When, when you're the partner of somebody important, um, like we'll probably end up doing interviews together because we're both actors. And I know some of the people who are doing the red carpet, blah, 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 blah. But when you get to the bit where they take pictures, right? They'll take some pictures of us together. And then there's this awful moment when you're me where they go, yeah, yeah, okay. If the guy could just fuck off and we get some pictures of just Amelia, please. And the thing is, there's nowhere for you to fuck off too. Okay, so you just stand at the side, slightly out of shot, looking really sheepish, still on the red carpet where everyone can see you, but now know that you're not very important, and you're just like... <laughs> until they go, okay, thanks, and then you can walk off. <laughs> it's really, it's just so awkward. Damn, just about Will Smith and do the Tada pose to Millie. Yeah, but then I'd be in shot. Can't be in shot. I'll just pull my phone out and play Angry Birds. I heard them hoovies. I heard them hoovies. fire up a red carpet stream yo 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 what's up my phantasmagoricals it's me jay bizzle here live on the red carpet getting some sweet snaps yeah like that you reckon i reckon that's what i could do stand in the corner of the red carpet shame yeah Doom. Doom. i'm here live at the baftas manifesting hashtag blessed Oh my god, I could I could try and find a way to sneak a hashtag bless sticker onto the carpet. <laughs> but I don't have any of the stickers. And they wouldn't arrive in time. I mean I probably should have got some business cards. That's a bit old hat now. I'll just write hashtag blessed somewhere on the carpet. Get a hashtag blessed sticker on Neil's kimono. No, Neil is ha fucking hashtag blessed enough for everybody. He doesn't need a sticker. He's the walking embodiment of hashtag blessed. Just get twitch.tv embroidered on the back of my suit. 
I can't ghouls. It's a higher suit, so I gotta. Uh, although, no, that would count as malicious. It is insured, so I could argue that somebody attacked me and stitched hashtag blessed into my suit. Hello, my name is hashtag blessed. Gherkin, I don't like you that far away from me, although you are shitting. Okay. Bring a tiny microphone. Do it on my tie. The tie is rented as well. The, I get, all I could do is... Uh, what The only things I'm wearing that are my own tomorrow on the... Well, not tomorrow, on Thursday will be my underwear, my socks, and my shoes. That's it. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Although they did ask me at the shop today when I was getting fitted. They're like, do you need any black socks? And I was like, no, that's, I've got socks. It's fine. <gasps> Happy days, Bob. Happy days. Everybody likes a cancelled meeting. Oh, I tell you what, chat. The recording session uh, yesterday. Oh, okay. Let me be very clear. I am very grateful for the work. All right. As an actor, always grateful for the work. Um, and it was nice to work with LA. And it's, you know, it's for it's for something good. Obviously, I can't say what, chat, but it's for something good. But fuck me, I forgot what it's like to stand up for four hours. And by the end of it, my back was just like, I would like to sit down, please. It's been so long since I've done a stood up session for that long. And especially as it was like five till nine UK time. No, I was I was tired as well. LA, the, no, no, yeah, LA, the city, yeah. You know, you know, I was working with Los Angeles. Yo, 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 yo. But the recording studio I was at in in London. Um, Never, I've never actually worked with them before, but they do a lot of games work. Um, y you'd love it, chat. Like, like they did, they did all the stuff for Bloodborne. They did all the stuff for Elden Ring. Um, they're they're a great studio. Um, but they treated me so well. They were like, okay, so we'll have a break about the two hour mark. Um, do you um here, here's a folder of, of menus, and they go out and get dinner. If you're doing an evening stint, they go out and get dinner. So that when you have a break at the two hour mark, um, you've got something to eat, which is very, very cool. Like, and the, and the team I was working with were great as well. Like every hour they were like, cool, 10 minute break, you know, go stretch, pee, et cetera, et cetera. You don't always get that. A lot of the times, if it's a, if it's a bad studio or whatever, they ju you'll just go for four hours unless you ask for a break. Doom, 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 doom. Can't you get a bar chair to sit on? They do have the mechanical. The trouble is, um, I, I could have, I could have asked, but I didn't want to make the fuss, right? Because you're mic'd up to the position you start the session in. So if you don't start seated, and then you go, oh, I want a seat now because my back hurts, um, they, they would have to redo all the mic. And it might change the room tone and the sound of your voice and all that kind of stuff. So you kind of got to you got to decide at the beginning. And depending on what you're what you're performing, you might want to stand up anyway. Most of the time, you do. Doom, 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 doom. Taking care of your people in this economy. Down, 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 down. Down. But do you know the word? Do you know the bit that really burned yesterday, chat? So I drove down, parked up, got a cab to the studio, did the four hours, got a cab back to the car park. I was six minutes over getting back to my car. But it's it's like a you know they take your license plate number on the drive in to the car park, and then you just get charged when you want to leave. I was six minutes over which meant that the car parking went from 18 pounds to 38 pounds. I was like, for fuck's sake. 
six minutes. Ah, oh, I'm so furious. Because it's like you get charged from like, if you're there for four to six hours, it's 18 pounds. And then if you're over six hours, it goes up to 38. Because it's basically, if you're here for longer than six, you pay for 24 hours. So it's like, it's like one to two hours, two to four hours, four to six hours, and then the day. But yeah, that, that gap is it's from 18 quid up to 38. And I was like, for fuck's sake, for six minutes, God damn it. <laughs> but I have to say, to be honest, it's the best parking spot I have found in London. But like, I used to get the train down. Now I can be door to door in pretty much two hours um and it's a it's a multi-story car park in a really new really clean beautiful area of london um just by king's cross and it's really clean the spaces are a great size it's in a lovely part of london and all i do is i park up it's a two minute walk down to king's cross and then you can either jump on the tube or pick up a cab it's just it's fucking great And like for London prices, 18 pounds for six hours is, is really reasonable. How many nuggets we got? Just the 10. coffee chat they are sad is that the big car park by the premier inn no i'm not gonna say which car park it is i don't want everyone to know my secret parking spot <laughs> is it a long drive to no it's about it depends what you as a long drive it's two hours like i left actually no i think i left my session let's say i left my session at 20 past nine which is probably about right. I was home at 20 past 11. And that's door to door, right? So that means walking from the studio to a main road, um, getting a cab from there to the parking space, getting my car and leaving London to pulling up at my house two hours. Oh my god, a sugar-free salted caramel latte. <laughs> Amsterdam has their P and R scheme. Park at the outskirt, and then if you have if you take any form of public transport to and from the city centre, your parking will be a euro if you're back within 24 hours. Holy crap. That's awesome. Yeah, I don't think London doesn't really have any park and ride schemes that I'm aware of. A few towns around the UK does. I know Oxford has a park and ride, I think. Bath has a park and ride. I think Birmingham Town Center has a park and ride. Um, but yeah, it's not massively a thing. Bristol. Okay, Bristol's got one. That makes sense because driving in Bristol is a fucking nightmare. I'm going to be in Amsterdam next uh, this year. I'm going to go to TwitchCon chat. So if any of you are going to go to TwitchCon EU... Uh, I might see you there. But when I went on Friday for the, the BAFTA social, um, I forgot how beautiful Shaftesbury Avenue is. Like Shaftesbury Avenue at night is really cool. For those who don't know, Shaftesbury Avenue is basically the street in London where pretty much... It's like, it's the West End, right? It's where all... Most of the main theatres are on Shaftesbury Avenue. So if you walk down there at night, it's just like show billboards after show billboards after show billboards. Oh, yes, it is Rotterdam, Melfis. Yeah, sorry, ignore me. So at night time, with it all lit up and stuff, it looks really nice. We have park and hope no one breaks into your car looking for guns. 
Yeah, but think of all the freedom you've got, Mumbly, all right? You don't have to rub it in our face. The freedom to get shot? I mean, you can't put a price on that. But if anyone would try, it would be America. <laughs> I know it's rude to laugh at your own jokes, but that one tickled me. That one tickled me. Bam, 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 ba down, bam. Scooter Mud Color. Hi, Jisk. How's it going? Insurance companies put a price on it every day. This is very true. It's very true. Oh, hi, Sway. Oh. Bye, Sway. Enjoy the ads. Get wrecked. We get a lot of Americans in Edinburgh asking where the castle is. Gotta love those Americans. Bam, 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 bam. Bam, 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 bam. I'm a big fan of Carnarvon. I like Carnarvon Castle. My favorite castle is Beaumaris, just because it's such a fuck you design. I love it. Sterling's a pretty castle too, I gotta say. I don't think I've ever been to Sterling. I did I did have a bit of a hard on for castles in my teen years. Um because I did I don't know, it wouldn't have been A levels. I think history GCSE, when I was doing history GCSE, you did like a castle um coursework. So I went around a lot of the castles in Wales and like analyzing each one and like documenting their history and um, construction and all that kind of stuff. Don't you just long for a bungalow or something? Yeah, I like a bungalow. I will say this. Americans do single floor houses better than we do. I, I like like I remember, like Florida when I stayed in a villa in Florida. It was like single floor. Like because the one thing America's got is space, right? I don't think I've ever... I don't know there exists. I know they're existing in America. Small houses and small apartments and all that kind of stuff. But I've never stayed... Like, just on average, it feels like American homes are bigger. Because they're like, yeah, we just got more space. So we're just going to make everything a little bit bigger. High ceilings. That's what I remember most about American buildings and villas and stuff. Just like high ceilings. Like, you might be single story, but it'll be a high ceiling. And I really like high ceilings. Gives me room for my sex swing. With exposed beams. Look, nobody in America gets to say the phrase exposed beams, okay? I know you're not, I guess, but Americans aren't allowed to use that word. None of the wood in America is old enough to talk about exposed beams, okay? Why? Because you're, you're just not old enough, okay? They're rustic. No, they're, you're not old enough, okay? Unless your country is at least 500 years old, you don't get to talk about exposed rustic beams, okay? That's, that's still new wood, all right? <laughs> that's new wood still. <laughs> ba -ba -boom. Cabins without finished ceilings have exposed beams. No, they just have beams. That's it. That's it. We are over 200 now. No, 500 is the minimum. All right. Minimum. I want some like I want Victorian shit. Not that that's 500, but... Colonist says what? You heard me, Mumbly. You heard me. No, we're in our rebellious youth phase like Scooter. I love the idea of Scooter still being a teenager. And honestly, it kind of fits. <laughs> we'll keep our air conditioning. 
I tell you what, I would just settle for it not raining at the moment. Like, I'm genuinely worried about our septic tank. If this rain keeps up, we are fucked. I've never... I've, I can't, in living memory, I can't remember a wetter start to a year. We have sunshine in Scotland right now. Yeah, but then it's going to rain, right? Like, we, we've had periods of sunshine and then just, bam, rain. Oh, and so then it's a little bit of sunshine and then, bam, rain. Like, it's weird. They really are big chili. And we, um... So, long, long story short, I'll do the abridged version. Uh, Millie and I got together in 2019, I want to say, off the top of my head. Um... We started living together just before lockdown. Um, and then about six months into lockdown, Millie's dad got really sick. And then he, he passed very sadly two weeks after that. And we moved in with him to look after him. And then he passed. And then all of a sudden we had this uh, house that was thrown at us that we suddenly had to look after. Um, and immediately the roof started leaking. The septic tank system um, bust and was all clogged up. All this kind of stuff. So it's actually a relatively new septic system in now. We have to get a whole new tank done. Um, but it's just how it's been like a one in 20 year flood the beginning of this year. So all the there's not literally not enough empty space in the ground water for the water to dissipate out from the new septic tank. Um, despite the fact he put in like a really big drainage field. The water just can't go anywhere. There's too much groundwater. So it's the water essentially is coming back into the tank. So if this rain keeps up, essentially the tank's going to fill up with rainwater. And it's just like, ah, get to it. Get this. Uh. <laughs> Look, we put a new system in. That should have meant we don't have to think about it for another hundred years. It's all fun and games. And the sewage is going to come out the toilet. Nah, it's got a long way to back up all the way back up to the house. The big, the bigger issue is when the tank fills up, the water hits the compressor, which is what happened a couple of weeks back. Is the water eventually comes up to the top of the tank, hits the compressor, and then the compressor fails. And then you have to get a new compressor and get that fitted and blah 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 blah. blah. Be an adult. It's totally fun. Do you know why, chat? Do you know why the drinking age is the age that it is? Have you ever wondered why there's a correlation? It makes sense when you think about it. You can't drink until you're an adult. Do you know why? It's because once you become an adult, you suddenly have a need to drink. <laughs> That's why. Basically, you get to 18, you turn into an adult, and the world just goes, look, yeah, you're going to need this. Okay. Good luck. Eighteen. Yeah, we're we're the UK. It's eighteen. I think technically it's sixteen if you're in a restaurant. Those three years are why Europe could easily drink America under the table. That and your light beer. What the... What, what is wrong with you? Light beer. I will always remember... Um, oh, God, what were they called? Red Flag Games? I'm trying to remember. There used to be a, a big... No, sorry, I'm misremembering my stories. There's a lot of stories about the Red Flag games, but this is actually about uh, deployment in uh, Gulf War number two, where at least American airmen um, uh, apparently had standing orders. Uh, for those who aren't military, standing orders is like, you know, a basic order that is applied at all times, right? Had standing orders not to drink with the British. <laughs> And I don't know if that makes me proud or ashamed. 
I think probably leaning towards proud, but um, but I, to be honest, I don't drink. Like, um, you know, we're going away for the BAFTAs, and then we've got this works thing next week. Where you know, I, I will say this: like, the games industry does arguably have a problem around drinking culture. Like, I suppose just maybe maybe not different to kind of any industry, but there's a lot of you know drinking culture in games. But I, I don't drink because I'm like this chat without drinking. Could you imagine me drinking? Like nobody needs that. But it's more like I don't need that. Do you know what I mean? I don't get anything from drinking. And I'm at, certainly at an age where I'm like, I don't want I don't want the hangover. Thanks. So I'll like if I go out, I'll have like a glass of wine or like maybe if it's a special night or an, and I'm out for like six hours, I might have two cocktails or something like that. But but that, that is, that's kind of about it. I'd, I'd happily, like, just sip on Coke Zero or something for the night. Down, down. But I've always been that way. I'll be honest. I've never, even as a teenager and, you know, through my 20s and stuff, I've just... I've never understood the... It's never appealed to me. Like, have I drank, you know, a lot occasionally? Yeah, but... I'm still like, eh, I don't really get the point. I, I just, you know, I'm fine without it. Like, I've always been that way. It's certainly never, it's never held any mythos or anything like that. But equally, I've never been part of anything where drinking was a culture. Like, arguably, the most was in the military. But even that tended to be... You know, occasionally it was it was bits of tradition. And occasionally it was, you know, the odd night here and there. But not as much as you would think. Yeah, I totally get that, Mumbly. And I, you know, I do, I can, I consider myself fortunate that, at least from a social perspective, like I don't, I don't suffer from, from anxiety or or a lack of confidence in that way. I mean, I have my own neuroses around. Uh, you know, self-confidence and that kind of stuff. But thankfully, it never presented itself in a way where I felt a need going out socially to use alcohol as some, you know, as like a bit of a buffer. But that's why you shouldn't judge anybody, you little bastards. And yeah, these days, I'd much rather have a, have a cocktail. I'd like I want if I'm gonna drink now I want my drink fancy I want my drink to be a fancy bitch if it doesn't have an umbrella and maybe a couple of small toys swimming in it acting out some kind of scene from Titanic on an iceberg then it's not a drink it's not a drink bow, 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 da, 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 bow. see I mask my awkwardness with comedy rather than drink like, we all do it. We've all got our own ways of, you know, coping mechanisms, etc, 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 etc. Like, I'm, I'm not, I'm the, I'm the epitome of, uh, what would you call it? Like, tears of a clown, right? Like, I put on the smiling clown face. And that's, that's my version of having a drink, I guess. Yeah, that'll do it, Big Shilly. Yeah, that'll do it. If you're if you're talking about yourself, I I sorry you have to go through that. That and you don't want drunk person in charge of an electric wheelchair. Ram raid, let's go. I walked into a supermarket yesterday, chat. I don't mean like through the door. I walked into the wall of a supermarket. It only hurt a little. I 
have about four. Was that a little joke? Thank you, Yukina. Like somebody got it. Honestly, you call yourself that you like puns. I have about four to five do what's a doom bar? Oh, when I go to the pub with the father, that's why these days. Sometimes in the summer I have like a couple of pink gin and pink gin and lemonades. I like um if I was if I was gonna like have a drink out, I'd probably have a cider. Like I'd have I'd have a cider. I, I, I'm not a big fan of beers anymore. Like beer, beer felt like my 20s drink. And then I, I, I like wine-ish. I like one or two specific wines. And other than that, I don't really give a shit. But yeah, a good cider, like a nice uh, Copperberg. Um, yeah, like a nice Copperberg mixed berry or something like that. Um, that's really nice. Or a whiskey. Yeah, when I get in the mood for it, a nice whiskey. Um, I, I used to like whiskey shots and now I'm more like uh, I like a good sip in whiskey you know the sort of whiskey that you'll drink over the course of an hour because it's that good a whiskey what was it um, was it a Korean whiskey I had when we were doing Rob Boss, whichever that one was, that one's nice. No, it wasn't Korean. It was uh, uh, Taiwanese, I think. I think it was a Thai whiskey. Yes. Yeah, yeah, Thai. Oh, Japanese. I'll have to go and check the bottle. Maybe it was Japan. Hmm. I'll have to go and check. Manhattans are an old fashioned. I mean, I've, I've said it before, and I'll say it again. Uh, Soko Hurricane is my um, cocktail of choice. D I mean, it's dangerous. It's unbelievably dangerous cocktail because it's basically orange juice. So you can drink so many of them and not even realize. But yeah, Soko Hurricane. Yes, please. A nice slow burning joint and a big glass of water. Yeah, we don't really. Well, let's put it this way. We don't legally have that option, particularly over here. Old fashioned still makes us laugh, as that's a local term for a handy J. <laughs> Double fisting old fashions. <laughs> How we doing on nuggies? 35. We've been idling doing this for 35 nuggies, chat. That's pretty good. Yes, yeah. It will be the only 30 minutes this week. Yeah, you know, but yeah, definitely doing 30 minutes pre-show tonight. So I'll stop. I'll stop Scooter in about 45 minutes. I'll go have dinner and wind down you're getting ready to wind up again um probably won't be any milli tonight chat just to just to pre-warn you so lady alice will probably just be off walking in circles somewhere getting dizzy yeah just a Roomba stuck in its return to base mode. It's not like she's busy or anything important is coming up. No, no. And everyone knows how enjoyable it is, right? If you have severe ADHD and you have an event coming up, everyone knows that that's a really chilled out time. Really relaxing. Super chill. Yeah, exactly. Why wouldn't you want to have a show the night before you have to leave as well? You know? <laughs> Easy peace. Like sometimes, like... I mean, it's not political, but... If, if, you, if you don't believe male privilege exists... Just watch a couple pack for going away. 
especially to any kind of event. Just watch a couple pack. All right. I have my suit hung up downstairs in the suit carrier. And I will basically throw some pants and socks in a rucksack and I'll be like, all right, let's, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> that is the sum total of what I need to do to get ready to go. Like tonight, I will just chuck three pairs of blocks of boxes, three pairs of socks, um, one shirt and one t-shirt. And that's it. I'm ready to go. And then I just like go into the bathroom and sweep all my stuff off of off of the shelf into a bag. I'll be like, oh, there you go. That's toilet juice pack. Why do we do that, Bob? I've seen a comedian do a bit where it's like every day you generally speaking right unless you have a uh, you know, medical conditions which is perfectly fair but generally speaking right you will wear one pair of underwear per day and yet when you pack to go on holiday you pack like you're gonna shit yourself three times a day and i do the same i like pack like double the amount of underwear like for no reason whatsoever like, how many times have I shit myself so far this year? Let me just add this up quickly. Uh, zero. And yet. And you never know, right? Different food. Maybe I'm going to shit myself. <laughs> but also, here's the other thing about going away, which is what I try to tell Millie sometimes, or anyone when, we, when, when it's traveling. It's like, we're not going to, like, the remotest region of the Sahara Desert, Okay. We're going to like a civilized Western country, you know, assuming you're, I don't know, in the States or mainland Europe, right? You're like, there'll be a shop where we can go and get pants, okay? Forgot forgot a charging cable? There'll be one at the airport, all right? Maybe the flight company will lose your luggage. Yeah, but now you've lost three times the number of pants. Ooh, la -di da Mr. No Shards over here. Hey, look, it's holiday. You got to treat yourself to at least one. Put some in your hand luggage. Oh, that's smart packing. That's smart packing. I need to figure out what I'm going to wear to the nominees party tomorrow. I haven't even thought about that yet. I don't know how like fancy the nominees party is. I should probably find out. Bloodborne cosplay. Same suit, no tie. No. No, the nominees party is not that fancy. You have to cover your nominees. Yum, 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 yum. Jeans and a t-shirt. I think it's like, uh, like jeans and a shirt kind of. See, yeah, Bob, I'm thinking in that territory, like jeans, t-shirt or casual shirt and my other suit jacket. You know the suit I wore to the golden joysticks? That suit jacket with like a shirt and jeans. Fuck you, Shelly, because I literally have brown shoes that I wear with my jeans when I want to look smarter. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> And I like rugby, so I hate everything in that sentence. Marvel hoodie? I don't think it's a hoodie affair. It's like a little one up from hoodie affair. Like literally at the suit place today, they were like, do you need a belt? And I was like, I think I've got a black belt at home, but I couldn't remember. And they were like, well, we've got this one. It's really nice and it's double-sided. And the other side is brown. And I was like, oh, perfect. I can wear that one with the jeans. <laughs> Get more male privilege. Women can't wear the same outfit twice, but I can wear a belt twice round. Yeah. I got two of those double-sided belts. Is that a joke, Polestar? Oh, look at Gherkin grazing up on the hill. Oh, that was kind of out of nowhere, Bob. Thank you very much. Oh. 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 I 
I got on a I got on a call the other week with a bunch of friends. Only recently, like this weekend, I think it was. Um, and this this shows you how unaware I am of myself, right? I got on the call and someone uh, someone went, Jay, have you got a license for those? I'm in a t-shirt, by the way, for context. And I was like, what? It's completely oblivious. I'm like, what? I'm like, have you got a license for those guns? And I was like, oh. <laughs> So oblivious, chat. Hashtag humble brag. Yeah. I never feel good about myself physically, so I'm kind of just trying to enjoy feeling a little bit better about myself at the moment. That someone was Jay in the mirror. Yeah, I've been working on my ventriloquism so I can look in the mirror and have it not look like I'm talking. <laughs> There is a thing though, like I must admit, I, I didn't, I wasn't aware of this. Um, not, not for any conscious reason, but when I was, when I was thinner, right, in the evening, like the, especially in the summer, I would more often or not wear like pajama trousers and then like a black vest top. That was pretty much, you know, that was what I wore all the time. Um, and then that went away when I put weight on and... I think about a week back now, I I put on that same sort of outfit. I actually put on some pajama trousers that I hadn't worn in ages because they didn't fit me and they fit me now. And I put on one of the black vests again. But the, the point of this story is then I looked in the mirror and I had this really clear moment of like, oh, there you are. And I don't know anyone in chat who's gone through, you know, like any, either like body dysmorphia or like putting on or losing a lot of weight when you're suddenly like, oh, there I am again. Like you, li I literally felt like that's me now. I, like, cause when I, when I was at my biggest, you would look in the mirror and you're like, that's, that's not me. I don't know who that person is, but it's not me. And for the first time, like a week ago, I was like, oh, there I am. Hi. Such a weird experience, though, but very cool. Uh, I've still got 20 pounds to go. I'm going to find my abs. Abs. Though I will, my relationship with a game dev friend of mine is forever changed. And I won't, I won't out them because they are part of this community, but I won't out them. When they referred, because I had this once, once when I was super, super, super fit. Like, single digit body fat fit. You know the little V? Um, women get it as well, but especially on dudes, if you have a six pack and low body fat, you get that V into the crotch. She referred to them as cum gutters. That, okay, good, chat. You're already aware. And I had never heard that phrase before. And I was just like, what? <laughs> I don't want them now. Why is it going that direction? <laughs> no worries, Chili. Thank you for hanging out, bud. Thank you for the awesome music as well. Have a good one. Valon gifted you this note. Is it a gift? Is it a gift? The Adonis's belt. Does semen slides make it better? <laughs> no. <laughs> I always referred to that referred to as a swimmer's V. Oh, let's go with that instead. I feel better about that given that I swim. Okay, fine. I'm like, no, take it back. I think one of the things I realized getting super fit. This was when I was doing like hit every single day and I wasn't eating eating like any sugar, very few carbs. And I got so I got super fit is I, I did that because I was like I want to prove to myself that if I wanted washboard abs, I could get them. And I did. Right? It's just kind of a fuck you to every gym bro in the world like dude, I could get that if I wanted to. So I did. And then I was like, yeah, but this is way too much energy to maintain. It's more energy to maintain this level of 
um, athleticism than I give it. I'm not in the Olympics. I'll have a pizza. Thanks. You don't like waking up at 2 a.m. to eat baked chicken to keep your gains up? No. No, not even a little bit. I mean, don't get me wrong, I liked how I looked. But not enough to give a shit about maintaining it. Although now I really want some baked chicken. Thanks, Mumbly. Fucking love chicken. I had to resist so hard before my session yesterday. There's a place in London called uh, Seven Dials Market. And it's just like a, it's like quite a cool kind of hippie um, food court. Um, and they had like a place that did Philly cheese steaks. And I was just like, oh, Gib. Gib. And then when they came to see if I wanted anything for dinner and there was like a five guys menu. I was like, oh, Gib. But I resisted, chat. I resisted. How we doing? 51 chat. Third of the way to uh, bar number three. I'll tell you what we will do, actually. What we will do. I, I'll, I'm so slow. Yeah. Uh, let's... Swap you with what are you? Seven hundred twenty-five thirty-two. Oh, hang on. Uh, oh no, that's fine. All right, let's take the lantern. Oh, hang on. We should just do this actually. Zed, Orsi, rest. There you go, pickle. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, there we go. Look, there's Scooter and Gherkin. I did treat myself. I say treat myself. I treated myself as far as Jay's current relationship with food goes. I did treat myself to a tuna cucumber sandwich for lunch today. Such luxury. So I've had my, my, uh, my protein porridge tuna cucumber for sandwich for lunch and then I think I've got like a steaky papa bell papa del pasta dish for dinner and that'll be me I fucking love tuna sandwiches tuna mayo I don't really don't really give a shit about the cucumber but like it just tuna mayo with some cheese and a little bit of ketchup and like a sourdough baguette just something real simple tiny little sprinkle of salt Put it directly into my face. Melted, yes. Yep. Like a tuna cheese panini or something like that. Yas queen. Catch up on a tuna sandwich. You heard me. Not like a not like a lot. I just mean like a very thin line from top to tail of the sandwich. But I am worried about the next couple of days, like Wednesday and Thursday, being away at a hotel. Like, I gotta make sure I don't, uh, you know, eat like a pig. Thin red line. Right, Scotty? I'm always like, no, I'll, I'll put the sauce on at home. Millie's the opposite, though. Millie, it, it says it in her Twitter bio, like, 
huge fan of condiments. Millie has to just like keep asking them. Like, more please. No, more. 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 So the sub doesn't close. Yep. Pretty much. I think the phrase we use if we're ordering for Millie, I say we, we don't stand at the counter and order together. I mean, if I'm on my own ordering something for Millie or if she's there ordering something for herself is more than you would expect to be healthy. That's the amount. <laughs> This is a good spot for nuggies, chat. This is a very good spot for nuggies. Yeah, an American serving, please. Thank you. Okay, chat. Do you think it's weird? Okay. Like, Subway keep changing their menu, but generally, I don't have a Subway very often, but if I do, I think they call it a Subway melt, right? I, I get, like, turkey, bacon, and chicken. And then I get lettuce and cucumber with that and people think that's weird and then a little sprinkle of ketchup and cheese of course i'm like what it's three meats lettuce cucumber and cheese what's weird about that ketchup yeah my opinion is right if the constituent parts are meat and cheese then it doesn't matter what you like that's it it doesn't matter what you put with it doesn't matter what the meat is you can have ketchup as long as there's meat and cheese that's it like you'd have a cheese sandwich with lettuce and cucumber and cheese and meat are always allowed to be paired together but yes tonight chat will be likely be the last stream this week there might and I, I say this very very loosely there might be a stream on friday but it will depend entirely and i've got the kids on saturday so i got an early start saturday morning so it depends depends how much energy i've got getting back from london on friday but there might be a stream We've thrown around the idea of doing some community hell divers on Friday. Rest these nuts. Resting is important, Jay. Yeah, but so is earning a living. So, you know. Swings and roundabouts, innit? How long's the drive to London? Uh... It should be. It depends what time we leave, but two, two and a half hours. So if we throw money at you today, you can take Friday off. No, that's not what I'm getting at. You're only supposed to give me money if you get something in return, such as the stream, you see. But I mean, it's, it's everybody's problem, right? It's, it's freelance life. Like, the less I stream, the less money I earn. It's just, it's just, it's simple maths that I don't even need to take my boots off for. You know, it's like, what do you call it? Contract work, isn't it? I hate being self-employed. I mean, it is like having done both and having done both for a long time now it's very it's very swings around about there are definitely some huge perks to being self-employed massively so but there are huge downsides and i think whether or not you are happy being self-employed versus not is kind of personal choice like if i think if you had a good employed job it can be just as satisfying as being self-employed like, the main thing I like about being self-employed is not answering to anybody and setting my own schedule, especially with having kids and working in the arts. Um, 
that that is very very nice right because my schedule is all over the place imagine trying to do any of this with a full-time job as well um you know but the downside is there's no sick pay there's no you know there's no pension there's no you know benefits and you can easily work all the time um so it's you know it's all swings and roundabouts but usually when i start getting worried about money and i think about oh i should probably go and pick up some actual work i'm like yeah but i don't want to have to i don't want anyone telling me you got to be here on wednesday afternoon because i'll just be like yeah but i don't want to i've got a vo session <laughs> i want to go and stream some scooter brown go away so it's all swings and roundabouts Basically, we will pay you not to stream. Interesting. Please, Jay. We can't. No more. This, this amount of bullshit is unhealthy for anyone, Jay. Please, stop. Yes, we could just turn the stream off, but you've programmed us, Jay. When that bot says go live, my hand just moves and it just clicks on your Twitch streams. Help, Jay. Stop. You gotta cut me off, man. You gotta cut me off, man. That's how I'm imagining it. Bam, bam, bam. Bob, I will, I will cut a bitch. I will cut a bitch. I mean, thank you, but I will cut a bitch. Bob, do they give you any tracking of your package coming back? I can cut you all off. Just say so. Mass ban. Let's do it. Let's do it. How many nuggies are we doing? I feel like the nuggies have slowed down. Pepsi banned. Oh, I might go and have a Coke over dinner. It will take some time between 30 and 90 days. That is insane. Is it insured in any way, Barb? Like, if they lose it, are you gonna just going to be, like, massively out of pocket? I'm so annoyed. Pepsi, you're banned. I'm going to have to do so much talking over the next two days, chat. I hate it. I'm so sad, Bob, for both of us. I'm more, I'm less sad. I'm more just annoyed because it makes absolutely no sense whatsoever. How about you made my entire day so much better just by being you? Will that get me banned? Yeah, that's like the worst possible thing you could say in this channel. Ugh. I am going to Disneyland in a couple of weeks for a bit so I could grab you some Marvel stuff to make up for it. Wait, have you just admitted that it was Marvel stuff you got the first time around? <laughs> I'm putting together the clues. I'm solving the case. But who will give you beautiful dice? Nobody. But I'll take that. Just so that I don't get treated so kindly. Jay sucks. I wish I had something better to do than watch his streams. Thank you. Thank you, Scotty. Can we make Scotty a VIP, please? Thank you. Uh, no, it's not Marvel stuff. Walt Disney World doesn't have much Marvel. Oh, wait. So hang on. So the stuff that was in the package was from Walt Disney World, but you're going to Disneyland. That's only for the channel owner. Ugh. All right. I'm not out alt tabbing. That's a lot of work. You take Millie's dice away from her? Yeah. Yes, Florida, and yes, because I live in a gotcha, 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 gotcha. Bam, 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 bam. I don't think I've, I've never been to Disneyland. Have I? No, I've never been to Disneyland. The only thing I've been to in LA is Universal. I don't really know why. Jay's stream does not serve as a body double to enable me to do my work, not at all. 
Sorry, Sway, can you stop typing in chat and go and get on with your fucking work, please? Eyes down. I only watch Jay's streams because, mm, has stopped responding to me. Doesn't that usually mean your internet's dead? If you ever come to LA again, take an extra day and we'll take you to Disneyland for a day for real Z's. <gasps> How does it compare though? Is it like, is it a mini Disney world or does it have different stuff? I misclicked and didn't mean to watch Jay. I know. And like once you've spent the effort doing that click, you know, the, like there's no point. Do you know what I mean? It's like turning on the channel and then the TV and then the remote is too far away. So you just watch whatever's on. I get it. I feel you. <gasps> Avengers Campus. Oh my God. Oh my God. I have, I will, I will say, I have been offered um, some free Disney tickets by someone who has access to such things. And I'm like, okay, well, all I gotta do is get to Los Angeles. On your phone, Mumbly. Oh, oh, come on, get with the program, ma'am. It's 2024. Well, I've never been to Disneyland Paris, but that's supposed to be fairly good as well. Watching. Keep an eye out. Right, Ruby? Yeah. Fucking hell. Until you said that, I forgot that it was called Euro Disney. How many nuggies have we got on us? Seven. Uh, work has actually started in some way. Not entirely sure uh, what, but at the Universal Park in the UK work has sort of begun which is exciting <laughs> I hope it's as good as Legoland Legoland's pretty good will it be Universal Kingdom because it should be no idea so you're going to Disneyland and filming your reaction to Star Wars Land, right? I wish, dancing. I wish. I miss the 90s chat where flights to America were like 400 quid, maybe. And you got $2 to the pound. That were good times. That's four hundred dollars for groceries. Which is the one with Animal Kingdom and near? So yeah, in Florida you've got Animal Kingdom. You've got you've got Magic Kingdom. Uh you got Magic Kingdom, Animal Kingdom, Epcot. Um then what's the it's I think they've changed it so many times. It was called MGM. Um and then they Disney got it. It's Dis Hollywood Studios, that's it. Yeah. They're all in Florida. That's right, isn't it? You got Magic Kingdom, Animal Kingdom, Hollywood Studios, and Epcot. And then obviously Universal Studios and Universal Islands of Adventure, but they're basically the same park. They're just one massive park, but you can pay to go to just one half of it if you want. Which I don't I don't really understand what the difference is. Like if, from memory, Islands of Adventure has got more more of the movie stuff, question mark. And SeaWorld, yeah. 
I don't think anybody likes SeaWorld anymore though, do they? Like I went to SeaWorld a couple of times as a kid and now everyone's like, free the orcas. Which, you know, fair. It's a fair argument, to be honest. Oh, okay. Somebody, because I heard this the other day and I haven't had a chance to look it up yet. The Jurassic Park ride that was at Islands of Adventure. Is that still there? Because somebody, I swear, said that the Jurassic Park ride has gone. And I can't believe that that would be true, given that Jurassic films are still coming out. It's now the Orca's Revenge era. Yes, I've been seeing that. <laughs> it's been updated. Okay, phew. Because one of my favorite like, memories from Universal is being on a boat um, and having it go through the giant Jurassic Park gates and the music coming out of the bushes like -na 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 -na. <laughs> yeah <laughs> the Jaws ride yeah if you didn't get a chance to go on the Jaws ride holy shit that was amazing I don't know what they've replaced it with though I feel like I've been on it since they replaced it it's the same ride but they've just called it something else I can't remember Sharknado I don't know <laughs> Yeah, but the Jaws ride was fucking intense. It was great. But I love Hollywood Studios. Like, Hollywood Studios, and I remember it when it was MGM as well, it was amazing. Who? Oh, God. Okay, chat. Try and help me out here. Um, It's in Hollywood Studios. Is it called Earthquake? I think you get, you, you, you're on, like, a subway train. And the roof caves, caves in and a tanker slides down and it uh, the platform floods. That was really cool. Oh, Star Wars is at Hollywood Studio now. Oh, okay. I thought I thought Star Wars, all the Star Wars stuff was in Magic Kingdom, but that's in Hollywood Studios. Like, so Galaxy's Edge, is that all at Hollywood Studios? Fuck, chat. I want to go back so much. I love, like, I love, 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 love. Well, not Florida, but fucking transphobic pieces of shit. Um, I just love that little bit with Disney and Universal and Hollywood Studios. Like, send me there for three weeks. I'm a happy man. <gasps> so it was called Earthquake. That was, it was so good. Are terrifying though when like the roof caves in and a fuel tanker skids down towards you but amazing at least disney flights fights florida oh that's good i mean i say that's good and in the back of my head it's like yeah it's only because they don't want visitor numbers to drop bam 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 that will be three years of your salary for three weeks of i I should do it just out of interest. I should cost up flights to flights to Florida, three weeks at a hotel. Like, I don't know. What would you need to do it properly? I would I would say like three or four days at Universal. Four to six days across the Disney parks. Maybe. I don't know. I'd need to see it out on a calendar. And then you got to give yourself some down days between all the walking around the parks. Um, a Disneyland. Galaxy's Edge is part of Disneyland proper. But it's... But Walt... Wait, is there a Hollywood Studios on the West Coast? Yeah, no, I get what WDW meant. I just meant... But Walt Disney World, it's at Hollywood Studios. Oh, sorry, I see you. At Disneyland, Galaxy's Edge is part of Disneyland proper. But at Walt Disney World, it's at Hollywood Studios. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. My brain would not read that sentence properly. See, I don't have never even what's California Adventure? I've never even heard of that. I 
And that's before we even talk about the water parks. What's it? Uh, is it like Blizzard Bay or something like that? I do a full week at Walt Disney World and don't get it all done. Holy shit. I will say, like, as an adult, I'm not... I'm not sure how bothered I'd be about doing Magic Kingdom. Like, if I had to miss one park as an adult, I think I'd miss Magic Kingdom. But that might just be from when I was last at Magic Kingdom. Oh, it has Tron now? Okay, fuck yeah, okay, I have to do Magic Kingdom. Like, the last time I went to Magic Kingdom was 2000... Uh, 2011, I want to say. And it was mainly then. It was like kind of mainly kiddie stuff and Space Mountain. And I was like, eh. But I liked, what do they call it? Tomorrowland? Or was it Tomorrow World? Which is like a section within Magic Kingdom. But weirdly, I never really did the water parks. I think we went... Like, I was, I was, you know, massively privileged as a kid. I went to America... Well, I went to Florida three times over the years as a kid. Because we were just lucky as a family. My, you know, my dad... My, but this was the thing, like... That makes me sound really lucky. And I was, and I'm not trying to... I'm not trying to downplay it. But... All I will say is, like... My family was nothing special, right? So this would have been all across the 90s. Like, my dad was just... Uh, just just sold steel, right? He was just a sales guy. He wasn't even a sales manager at that point. He was just a sales dude at a, 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 a steel company. But in the 90s, with a salary, that meant that he could afford because the flights were cheap and the pound was really strong and food was cheap. Like, that he could afford for us to go to America. Like, he wasn't on a huge salary and all that kind of stuff. It was just... It was affordable then. Like, if you... That's... Like, I was really lucky to grow up in that period of time. Because now it's... Like, hugely unaffordable. So I was really lucky as a kid to get to go and do that a few times. I love Epcot. I adore Epcot. I like, um what's it called like world village or something like that where you've got like the little individual bits around the lake that are supposed to be from each like a couple of countries and stuff around the world um but without a doubt still to this day the fireworks display at epcot is the best fireworks display i have ever seen without a shadow of a doubt I mainly like I'm so annoyed that the last time I went to Florida was on my honeymoon and it was just such a shit time like I don't want that to be the last time I went Has Millie ever gone? Uh, no, I don't think she has. I think she, I think she's, she's definitely been to the East Coast. I think she might have done like a Bush Gardens. Um, I'm fairly certain she's never done Universal. Um, she does want to go. I'll be honest, mainly because of me. Because I'm like, look, and shut up. I'm going to get mushy chat. But when it's like, look, you're my person. I, I want like it's not like I just want to go to um uh America wait no it's not like I just want to go to Universal like I want to go with you I want to experience it with you um she's certainly up for it yeah for sure is Millie okay with a lot of people like that uh, it depends yes like crowds not a massive issue but 
I think certainly after COVID, and I, I, I think it's probably true for most people with anxiety, you know, that being shut away for a few years and like slowly drip feeding back into what it's like with crowds is certainly a thing. And even me, to be honest, like, I, it's, it's it's not an anxiety thing for me, but even just more like, oh, God, I remember what crowds are like. Oh, we're done well, chat. I think we got nearly, nearly, like, 100 nuggies just sat here doing this, for however long we've been sat here. Ooh, thanks, Bob. I mean, if I ever get, end up going back to the East Coast again, I'm definitely going to hit you all up for these tips about the parks and stuff. Can you still hear the music and everything, Bob, from there? Oh, they pipe it in. Ooh, okay, that's smart. That is smart. Like, I'd be, oh, I don't know, I'd be tempted to stay, I don't know, I've never stayed on resort. I've never done that, but it's tempting. I love that 68 people are just sat here watching me do nothing in a river. Y'all need hobbies, man. Damn, damn. Oh yeah, 21. Okay, let's get to 25. And then we'll call it. I'm playing Dark Souls 3. Don't you know? I just... Uh, I very much want to get back into Souls games. I, I have hobbies. Too many of them. This is my chill time. I mean, I'm going to judge you all still, chat. I mean, excuse this issue that you have. All right. However you like. I'm going to judge you. I'll try and install Minecraft. You mean brick crack? I have... <sighs> Raving, mine's run out. I keep look. I keep checking my cup just to see. You know, I'm like, has it filled up? Is there any more coffee in it? No. And then every time I look, I get a little bit sadder. You think I'd learn? This is good ADHD background entertainment. I get you. I get you, cats. We were talking about this the other week or whatever. Like, I don't have ADHD. I'm fairly... I have my neuro... I have my neuroses and I have my little bits of neurospicy, but I'm fairly neurotypical. But even still, like... Generally speaking, I can't work unless there's something on. Like even, even like sitting on the sofa reading a book, I can't do that in silence. I have to have some music playing or a TV show on while I'm reading. It's like there's a bit of my brain that's like a little toddler. And if I don't give it something to entertain itself, I won't be able to read my book in peace. <laughs> oh my God, that's the perfect analogy. I have a brain toddler. <laughs> look, just, just look, just sit here while daddy reads his book. All right, shh. A brain toddler sounds awful. No, thank you. I don't. I mean, mine just moved in. I don't even know where it came from. The only, the only um, uh, exception to that is if I am doing something that does take up a hundred percent of my brain, including the toddler, then I need no distractions at all. Like occasionally, if I if I if I've been reading something super technical or it's a new concept that I'm trying to wrap my head around. Um, then I need, like, no music, no show, etc, etc. 
it's basically chat my brain is just so powerful that i have to run the cpu in it a hundred percent all the time that's that's what it is you know just so smart Sorry, Yukina. Have you been to one of my normal streams? <laughs> the sounds are too stimulating. <laughs> I'm sorry. Have you been at one of my streams? <laughs> hey, Skittles. How you doing? I uh, Yeah, I've been on Raj for, uh, I don't know, maybe three weeks now. Over here on my secret RP channel. Shh. Why do you think I have to have silence at all times? Otherwise, what is it to recover from my streams? Oh my God, daddy. I mean, fingers crossed. But hey, as, as they always say, right? Somebody's got to be those 12. And I know that's very cliched, but it's true. Doom, 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 doom. I mean, Streamloops just gave me a new pack for my monthly subscription. Fuck. God, the first half an hour of stream tonight is just going to be chaos, isn't it? All right, one more nuggie, and then I got to call it. I got to hide my nuggies and make my dinner. Clip of the month must happen. It will happen. I've already got the clips lined up. Don't you worry. I, I think I already know which one's going to win clip of the month, though. I'll be honest. Come on, one more nugget. Let's go. And I will be fresh from therapy. Yeah, but that should mean that you don't want to bully a man on the internet. Surely. 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 Come on, one more nuggy. I need dinner. Jesus, Scooter, sort it out. Ba, 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 da, boom. I will be feisty. Oh, no. Oh, is this, is this it? A scooter just panned this river to death. And we're not going to get our final nugget. Come on. One nugget, Scooter. Thank you. Hello. Hello. <sighs> I know there's nobody here, chat, but I still like to roleplay it anyway. Because I'm what they call a loser. Chat, watch out. That's not bad. That's half a gold bar in, I don't know what, hour and 25? Oh, God. No, Melfis. Not even close. We still need uh, 750 fire. Wait, how much do we need? Oh, yeah, it's 300 bars. We still need 450 nuggets. Well, a little bit less now. We still need 375 nuggets, something like that. I'm glad we put headlights on Scooter. I mean, it doesn't even exist yet. Look, I don't even have the wagon. But we're getting closer, chat. Oh, shit. Yes, Gherkin. Yes, Gherkin. You're so good to me. No, Gherkin. Oh. Smile, you son of a bitch. Oh, wow, wow, 
don't you die? Oh, he's dead. Oh, thank you. Gunkin did good ish. Okay, we're okay. It's okay. Calm down. Jesus, Gherkin, how far away did you run? You ran miles away, you little coward. get my nuggies back to the warm safe embrace of the bank oh no oh no i might have fucked it oh no hey, hey come on pickle wait gherkin okay we did it we did it chat we're okay bob Dax does that now. If I go to when I go to bed, like, but generally only like when I'm going to, to for my nighttime ablutions, right? When it's when it's the toilet trip before bed and I'm brushing my teeth and whatever. Dax likes to come in now and like just keep watch. Autumn jumps on my chest and sits down on my boobs. Boobs. No, Jay, you don't have time to go hunting. Oh, well, let's get out of here. God, it does look good on the screen with that my little cinematic filter. Get it at a nice, like, 45 degree rearward angle. It's such a pretty game. Check out telegrams quick, see if, um, see if Berber has replied. Hey, little does that man know I got pockets full of gold. Okay, they're all safely on my horse for now. I say for now, in case they bring in stealing shit from horses. Nothing from Bubba. Alley up. I don't know why I like Valentine so much. It is very pretty, though. Thank you. 
Oh, look. Thank goodness the porch is being protected once more. Thank God. That porch nearly committed great many crimes. Phew. All of the dead people in the rest of the territory will be so glad to know that that porch is safe. Give me my horse inventory. Thank you. Oop. Mm. Ash my gold nuggies. Yeah. Oop. Well, so no, perhaps I need to get your saddle off as well. Your horse. Okay, let's go sell the shit out of my pop quits. I think in game time, I think it's been about a week maybe since Scoo got bit. I'm not sure. <sighs> Alright, wait, did that sell? There we go. Alright, let's go lie down in the dirt, Scooter. Let's eat a stew first, though. Can't go to sleep on an empty stomach. Yep. Yeah. Oh, where's my favorite stall? Let's go into this one. There we go. Shut my bedroom up for the night. There we go. Mm-mm. Oh, that's some good hay. There we go. Good night, Scooter. Why do people have to run? It's a very good question, Raving. It's a very good question. I try never to run unless there's a, some character reason for it. Why are you going to go, Scooter? You go there? Okay. Sorry, chat. I'm just checking something before I come in. There it is. Okay, there we go. All right, chat. I got a shoot. Thank you very much for hanging out with uh, Scooter Brown. I go here like that. There you go. It's me. Hi there. All right, chat. I will be back in uh, 45 minutes over on the main channel with the next episode of Pendragon. So if you're not following over there, go do it. Uh, go do it. Do it now. And of course. Of course. We're going to play the scooter theme. Of course. Are you ready? Everybody have a hooey day. I'll see you all in a little bit. Scooter Brown, peace out.
upside down.